This episode brought to you by Instant Pot. Beeping in the background. <laughs> All right, Fathom, take us on a recap of last session. Um, I think we just ran like a bunch of errands trying to get things squared away. We put our boat in to get a bunch of upgrades, cost us a ton of gold. Uh, and a, a ton. ton. A ton of gold. Uh, and we ended up taking on the uh, Zaba's uh, ship while ours is in the shop. Uh, Colby aptly named it the Empty Jar, which is still a really good name for an XG ship. Um, uh, and then we kind of just started on our adventure after we came across a new crew. Just a bunch of uh, drow that were hanging around Dune's table. Um, we walked up, said, hey, join us. And they're like, yeah, okay, cool. And they tried to swindle us for a ton of money. I think we got it down to like seven gold a day, which is nothing. Uh, then we started on our adventure. Um, our wonderful navigator got us beached again. Um, <laughs> we, however, in his expert uh, piloting skills, did not... Uh, put us into the reefs, which is fantastic. Uh, we came across an open waters trader that Mako knew, uh, and we got some cool stuff and traded a bunch of cool stuff, so now we're flush with cash again. Nice. And I think we ended after just making it to the islands. Yes. Yeah, so um, at the very end of the session, you guys were pulling up to some islands that seemed to stick out as potentially where you guys were heading. Uh, Brendan explained it like a last time, but I'll, I'll recap it too, that the, these islands around here are very rocky, um, right? So they're large, like, stone islands. They're not longer the, like, tropical beach that you felt back in Pharos. Actually, down here where you're getting, it's actually getting quite cold in comparison um, to it. Uh, um, Atros is in the southern hemisphere, um, so you know that the further south you go, you're getting closer and closer to um, whatever our equivalent in Antarctica would be. Um, and so it is definitely getting quite cold as you are down here. You guys will actually see little rock hopper penguins jumping from stone to stone as your boat's pulling up. And um, can I have both a perception check from our navigator and a um, driving check from our pilot um, as you guys are pulling up to some a, a very very rocky kind of coastline. It becomes very difficult to navigate your ship through this, especially the ship you're on. It's large and it's slow, making it a little bit easier to see things coming. However, it's very hard to, you know, navigate around uh, the, the rocks that are just jutting out of the rib or the, the ocean here. Well, not to mess anything up, but get ready for this nat 20. I just hope it's a one. It's a one. That's cool. <laughs> oh, why'd you say it you got one, you, you um, you. there you go Laurel <laughs> yeah Laurel Laurel pokes his head up and goes there's a huge rock jutting out right in front of us and Anna says go front towards into giant rock and you do and you just kind of hear just this horrible just slamming breaking noise as your ship just grinds up against a rock and going just completely through the front of the hole um, before just coming to a, a very, you know, aggressive stop. Uh, <laughs> however, what you guys see in front of you, you see um, kind of up ahead of you guys um, two islands, um, or, or you're in between two islands, uh, such that you see kind of these really large stone ruins on each of the two islands. And between them sits a um, small island with some more ruins on it. Uh, there seems to be some semblance that a bridge might have used to connect everything to this small island. But at this point, there seems to be a broken bridge on each side of it. Um, but yeah, that's where you guys find yourselves. Oral, why the fuck didn't you tell me that there was a giant rock there? Yeah, that's really funny because I'm not controlling your hands. So I've run my job. If you told me that there was a rock there, I would have gone straight into the rock. You know what? I I, I doubt that's the case. But you know what? We're, we're here. <laughs> so um, let's just figure it out. Can I and look over? What's it looking like? 
What's up, Fathom? I wanted to look over the side of the boat to see if Inna hit any of the penguins. Uh, yeah, no, there's no, there's no like floating, sadly dead penguins. Just the giant sadly? rock that is jutting into your. It would be sad if you killed penguins. Um, or it sounds like you just into your death. There were no dead penguins. I was looking for dead penguins. One hundred percent. Calum was clearly looking for dead penguins. He wants to talk to them. No, I can make them dance. Um, no, th Dang. there's some penguins that are just kind of like sitting on the rock, looking um confused why you would run your giant ship into one. Um, I would like to get out of the ship and investigate the damage. What well, continuously cursing Laurel under my breath? Yeah, Mr. Carpenter, give me um a strength check. Ba -ba -ba. Um, very average. Uh, yeah, you look at it and you're like, yeah, this rock's not supposed to be inside of our hull. Um, and you're pretty certain about that. You feel pretty confident about it. Um, it honestly, it shouldn't be that hard of a fix. It's just gonna take a little bit of time and effort, um, basically. Um, but it's definitely a doable fix. You guys aren't like, like screwed over for a long time here. It's just gonna be a matter of somebody needs to sit down. Honestly, more than anything, it's just gonna take manpower and, and some time to get fixed up and running again. Gotcha. Faro will uh, approach you and he'll say, uh, you know, my uh, my men and I can probably get this back to sailing ability. I won't say we're going to do it very, very well, but if you want to go about what you need to do, we can work on patching it up at least. That would be pretty good. Like, we would appreciate that. Yeah, Dazzle. we might. Oh, sorry, sorry does a foot. Oh, I was just going to say, uh, if we are going to the islands, I would like to pray to Tamora and see if she would give her ever so faithful paladin a little hint on which one's hers. Yeah, what do you, uh, what do you say to Tamora? Um, I apologize for last time where I uh, picked up Bashaba's mirror, which was very dumb of me, and I asked for her favor to guide me in the right direction so that I don't favor her rival Bashaba again. Give me a religion check. Uh, Can Fathom also join in? I am going to use a okay. luck roll. Okay. Yeah. Luck. Okay. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. Or yeah, let me tell you what, Fathom, what did you say real quick? Sorry. I want to join in on Dazit's prayer. Just like watching him or? No, I imagine Fathom would get on like his hands and knees and just scream to Mora. And that's how he prays. <laughs> that's uh that's fair. Give me a religion check for you. Um, Daz, if you hear um a calming, um faint feminine voice speaking to you, seemingly calling you towards the uh the 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 island between sitting the small island sitting between these two islands. Okay. I like that one, guys. Point at it. How you know? In fathom ten. I'm not yeah, sure you just little... scream Tamora out at the top of your lungs as as Daza seemingly hears a faint voice up ahead. That's fair. Yeah, I'll just show off my little earring, and I'm like, some people are favored. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's that one. Are we talking this one or this one? It's so you are between um, the ones that your ship is in between right now, and sitting between them is a, like, the front of your ship here, mm -hmm. and sitting between them is, I, I called it an island, honestly, it's about the size of, like, a small, um, like, our living room size, like, a, our living room area is the size of this island, and there's some, like, ruins kind of stacked around on, on the island there, the small one. Yeah. The other two appear to be full-sized islands that have uh, ruins of... Um, of some type on them as well. Mm, let's go to the little one, then. I believe in my man's Dazith, but I'm going to patch on the back. He's, he puffs his chest up a little bit. Feel very proud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that the plan? Are you guys all just heading over there? Oh, yeah. and as we walk towards it or swim, whatever she has to but do. Dafina will grab uh, Fathom by the shoulder before he leaves, and she's going to say, I uh, I don't trust the drow. Um, I am going to stay back and make sure they don't off with any of your stuff or the ship. Okay. And make sure they actually work. 
Okay. And she's gonna like side eye them kind of <laughs> angrily. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hands on her shoulders and look her in the eyes. You have to work on your trust issues, but I understand. <laughs> it's adorable. It's more okay. like rain coming. <laughs> Um, Bug we... will, will stay behind as well, but Calm Like Rain it looks very eager to get off the boat. Sweet. Um, also, before we leave, can I go and set up... I, 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 I didn't say it, but I figured since it's in the shop, I would have grabbed my hag's eye. Can yeah, I set that right. up? I want to set it up uh, with our stuff in the room, but like as close to the ceiling as possible, kind of like a surveillance camera thing. <laughs> definitely, yeah. You're definitely able to set that up, no problem. You're pretty solid with it now. Okay, cool. And then I will grab Calm Lake Rain and we will follow the others. Yeah, the, the six of you guys kind of make your way over this little island. Um, you guys, this ship does have a lifeboat on it. And that's probably your best bet so that um, Dazzus doesn't sink to the bottom of the sea. Um, also, this water is a little chilly, you know, so it's not as fun to just go swimming in. Um, but you guys make your way over there, the six of you. Um, and there is... Um, a small island with an almost like, I guess, like a round set of pillars. Uh, like you would think, think like Oracle at Delphi, that kind of look of just like pillars in a circle um, around just some, like, that's like the whole island. It just had these ruins in a circle. Um, and as you guys kind of approach into these ruins, there's a large um, well growing right, or like going right up in the center of these. Um, as you guys approach this well, You'll notice there is like an odd symbol etched into it at the base um, that looks to be like a uh, a twisted knot in shape. Um, but yeah, um, this is kind of what you see in front of you right now. Um, and then Dazid, you specifically hear that voice whispering from the well at you. As there's a voice in the well. Is it? Coming from the weird knot thing, does that mean tomorrow? <laughs> I would know that when our I was I don't think it is, but I Give would me know. Give check. Okay. Oh. Mm. Un unclear. I I wasn't the best at remembering things, so it it could be best at remembering things. <laughs> but uh, the, I, there is definitely a there's definitely a and it's the same voice from before, correct? Um, this voice has not stopped uh, for you, and no one else hears this voice, but this voice has not stopped from you since you prayed to Tamora, um, and it's just kind of coming from in the well, like, drawing you to come look over the edge. Yeah, this voice keeps telling me to look over the edge, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that real quick. Is this, Mako, does she know what the symbol is? Uh, give me a religion check. Okay. Nope. Unclear. Yep. Um... Yeah, Dazith, as you look down into it, what is everyone else doing as Dazith is looking into this well? She does it. Okay. Uh, I'm watching. Are y'all just stand, standing back watching? Uh, does Fathom recognize it, maybe from like a story? He's Give me a religion check. Oddly enough, Fathom is proficient in religion. <laughs> Unlike Gath. Yeah, uh, 15. Yes. 15? Um, it, again, it's hard to tell, um, your best bet here, judging from the, like, the way the knot's twisted, the two, um, strings making up the knot, one looks kind of normal and together, while the other one looks a bit frayed, it seems like it could potentially be a symbol related to the, the, the goddesses in some way, but it's not one that you've seen particularly, like, like, it's not like a super, it, one that's used for either of them very often. Okay. Um, Dazip, as you look over into this, you see kind of a, a glimpse of some like um something glittering at the bottom of it um flashing and shining like gold and gems do um you're you kind of feel your heartbeat start um racing and, and this kind of excitement anticipation come over that you find yourself just kind of looking over and further further leaning in um and then a gust of wind rushes past you and you hear this voice say come brave one Take the leap and claim your destiny. The well holds wonders beyond your wildest dreams, but only the courageous may uncover them. 
Okay, guys, it's telling me the voices are telling me to jump. So, uh, yeah, see you on a bit. <laughs> You'll see Daz yeah, is just what? standing on the edge <laughs> of the well. <laughs> uh, if, if, if it's as if I jump, jump, I'm going to use my advantage and surprises to grab him. That's not how yours is against. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Daz, if you guys all specifically said you were standing back watching him, Daz, if you just see him lean over and then just go falling into the well, but you never That's hear a sound of a landing. Or anything of that nature. You just see Dazza disappear into the well in front of you. If we look into right, the well, what we see? It's been real. <laughs> um, you see a deep, deep well with some glittering at the bottom, like golds or gems might be. I'm going to climb down, spider climb. Yeah, uh, you kind of grab your onto it and lash yourself in. And as you start climbing down a little bit. And then as you guys are watching, she just disappears. <gasps> okay, wait. This Adam, might not be a good idea. Adam jumps in. That he can't explain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Fath Fathom, you jump in. Yeah. Yeah, you Fathom just disappears, and, and again, no sounds. You, no one has heard anyone land. You've never, you haven't seen where they've gone. They just disappeared. And uh, Mako and, and Laurel, you're still here. Mom. Really? I'm like Rain, Rain is just gonna look at you guys and like plug his nose and jump in like head first. <laughs> well, it's been a good life, and then Mako will go. Oh my. <laughs> Lorelli, this is a way we get party wiped. You know, um, it's hey, it's probably not a sin. It's probably not. Probably right. No, um, Lorelli's gonna put one leg over the well, and he's just gonna like slide in as if it were too cold getting into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lorel, you feel yourself kind of like um, almost like fall into like a, a trance state before waking up just standing in a room all of you are there um it kind of feels like when you wake up from your trance state you elves or waking up from a really nice dream um that's it for you you human uh person um inside you are inside this like uh mid-sized circular room here and uh standing in front of you are 10 people you see five um just large lion people um glow in glowing yellow robes each carrying a kind of spiked yellow green gemstone additionally you see five men with blue faces that seem scaly almost like a um a fish or a lizard might be in these just soaking wet um red cloaks that they have over their heads um they look almost as if they just walk out of the water um, around this room, you see statues and plaques of human humanoids, seemingly from all different races and um, like quality and walks of life. Yeah, we could have died. But we trusted the voices in my head. Um, oh, yeah, with I... that, a man walks forward, um, one of the men in the uh, red cloak, and he steps forwards and says, Welcome, heroes. I see you have arrived to take on our lady's challenges. Step Ooh. forward, and we will see if the twins deem you worthy or not. And a steps forward. Whoa. What? What yeah. challenges? And a steps forward. And a note. Um, step forward, and we'll see if the ladies deem you uh, worthy to take on the challenges. I know uh, I'm worthy. Forward. Yeah, Anna, Daz is step forward. What about the rest of you? Mako is step forward. Yeah, after the three of you step forward, this person in the red cloak goes. Bashaba chooses whom misfortune might befall, and thus serves to protect her followers from misfortune. Tamora, on the other hand, brings good fortune for those who ask for it, but she can also prevent, provide men with a lack of luck that can be disastrous. Yes, let's start with um, tomorrow's hero. I will allow one of my um, friends here, um, the luck bringers of Glowstone, to tell you what uh, Tamora has to say about your group. Yeah, one of the one of the lion men uh, with the cloak over his head will step forward, and he'll reveal a like a giant mane on his head uh, by lowering his cloak, and he'll look like eyes uh, like on Dazith, never looking away, let's say. Uh, uh, the Lady of Luck has obviously chosen uh, 
her hero in this one. Um, along with you, uh, Sir Dazif, uh, she will uh, bring um, the elder uh, elf over here who has lived a long and prosperous, some might say lucky life. And in addition, um, uh, who else does he point out? Larry. <laughs> Larry? Laurel. <laughs> Laurel. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's Larry? I feel like and, it's very obvious who Larry is. I like Larry. And the, uh, the famed navigator and map maker, uh, Sir Laurel. Uh, Me? Who I think has been wanting for some luck in his life and uh, needs these challenges. Oh, damn right. The three of you uh, will follow me th this way. <laughs> As he kind of starts trying to lead you away, you guys see a dark light fall onto Fathom's face. And the, uh, the, the, the blue man in the red cloak goes, So, Gashava has chosen you then as her hero. Um, it appears misfortune is then somewhat common in your life then. What? I can't and then he looks around and goes, and I suppose um, these are your assistants, and points at Anna and Calm Like Rain. I'm with him. I'm going to point to Calm Like Rain. <laughs> In a play nice. I'm your god now. Does this mean that I'm misfortunate, Mr. Lion? Um, it, it feels the feeling I'm getting from Our Lady is that you bring misfortune to others I at do. a rate far beyond what anyone should. Yeah, I'm glad that's you get me. Your dad's also and like then, a raging alcoholic if that has anything to do with it. I have daddy issues. We know that. It's fine. <laughs> And then he looks at Calm Like Rain and says, and you just seem unlucky enough to have followed this one here and points at Fathom. Hey, Fathom's my friend. Yeah, he'll kind of scratch his, his head, but like, kind of nod like, yep. <laughs> well, um, in, a, in a moment's time, um, the, the group of you will follow me, um, you Fathom and your... Uh, you, or I guess heroes of Bashaba will follow me, and the heroes of tomorrow will follow my dear friend there. And you will face a series of challenges designed to um, test your courage and bravery and, and reward you if um, the ladies seem uh, is fit. Now, there's no requirement for you to continue forward. The challenges are, are dangerous and often bring... Um, death, but a trip into Theros can appease the twin goddesses and bring forth just great riches for a group and, and the glory on top of it. Well, let's fucking go, and I'm gonna grab both of their hands and start walking towards him. Whee. And uh, with, What does Calm Like Rain look like again? Um, he is like a like snow leopard. Okay. Um, with this, the this guy walks forward and he goes, I am um, of course one of the red wizards of Fae. Um, so I will be leading um, this group of Bashaba um, heroes. So come with me. And he will turn and open a door off to the side and say, I'll follow you. Is the rest of the group still here? Or were they yeah, so here? at the same time, a luck bringer um, is bringing that, that lion person, is bringing them over to a door, a similar door on the other side of the room and opening it and offering them to move forward into a separate door. Bye guys, don't Bye die. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> Make sure mom makes it out alive. Yeah, I'll do my best. I think she's we'll supposed to do it for us. <laughs> and with that, can I have Fathom and Inna follow me to the lounge room? And we are going to break up for a little bit. Oh my goodness. I love this. I don't know how to go to the lounge room. You just, uh, click, just click on lounge. And then confirm. <laughs> Where was the lounge? Like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, you have it in full screen. Just click on that first. No, just click on, on that. And then, where is your like border? There you go. Lounge. Uh, got it? Got it, Adam? Oh, 
I'm excited. Cool. We're getting uh, the Shaba's perspective on this. Oh, Marshall, your video didn't come back on. Also, the only thing that Will told me about this session was that you and Fathom are going to have a lot of fun. (laughs) And then Laurel, Mako, and Dasif will have a lot of fun. But separately. I don't like being separated. I don't like being separated. (laughs) No, I don't either. It probably won't be an issue, right? It is good we put a healer on the team with someone who gets killed a lot. Oh, I'm not a healer. And Calm Like Rain is not either. <laughs> um, but you guys, it. you find yourselves in... Oh my goodness, I just realized, how are we going to do these maps? Oh no. What? One second. Y'all wait here. Oh, that won't work. Uh, oh. Um. Oh, are there different maps? No. Oh. <laughs> Real quick, B, can you hear me? Okay. B, can you hear me? Brendan? Oh, it's because your sound's off, not in there. Um, uh, okay, can you hear me, Brendan? Yeah. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. So, um, I just realized um, something that's going to be a problem is we can't have multiple maps open at a time. So I'm going to start with part two. Uh, if you'll start with part one. Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, let me know later um, things. Cool. Okay, bye. Yeah. Let me know later things. Okay, guys. Didn't think about that. Nope, we did not. Let me just... Whoop. I also don't know how this is going to look on the recording because I can't share my map. Yeah, so... Oh, oh, oh. oh. Um, yeah, I just realized um, we're supposed to have um, you guys on maps, but we can't have you guys on separate maps at the same time. Uh, so, um, oddly enough, this is where you find yourselves. You guys find yourselves in a, uh, and it's the three of you, and um, Calm Like Rain is there with you. Um, you find yourself in a room, a small room, with a statue of Bashaba standing there. The statue has three outstretched hands. Each hand holds a stone with a different color in it. There's a pink one, a purple one, and a black one. The room is otherwise empty except for a door that is on the other side that has a chain across it right now. Is our leader still there? He's just standing back behind you and watching. Okay, so I call dibs on the purple one. I thought you would want the black one. No, I like the purple one. It matches my skin tone a little bit. I'm part drow. Yeah, but like, you're all like deaf. Just because I'm all deaf doesn't mean I like black enough. Um, Mr. Lion Man. What's not a lion? What is he? The blue faced guy with the red cloak on. Mr. Cloak Man. What are we supposed to be doing here in this scenario? To I'm not to, I'm not to help you have a challenge in front of you. I'm gonna go inspect the three stones. Um, give me an investigation check as you go up and look, and um, Fathom, if you're looking at this thing and seeing what you see, you can do the same. Um, ignore the map that you guys probably see on the screen, by the way. It's just have, not you. I have it open on Discord. Anyway, right. so. it just it, it's not gonna be what you see, so. I got seven. Uh, investigation. Seven? Okay. Yep. Uh, 20. Dirty. Cool. You, as you approach the statue, you notice that the stones seem to be connected to some sort of, like, mechanism um, inside the statue. Um, and this mechanism has three spl- spots that seemingly each correspond to one of the stones. Um, when you walk up and you kind of see these slots, you find that each one has a, uh, each each of the stones, excuse me, has a different symbol carved into it. On the pink stone, there's a an upside down U shaped on it. On the, um, oh, sorry, no, sorry. On the purple stone, there's an a- upside down U shape on it. On the pink stone, there's a carving of a small cave. And on the black stone is almost like a half sun, um, kind of like a, like cut off in under on the bottom part of it. Fathom, all of a sudden you hear a voice in your head. Bashaba, 
goddess of misfortune demands a tribute before she will grant you passage. Place the stones in their proper spots, but beware. Choose wrongly and you may feel my wrath. Additionally, along the wall, you see three paragraphs, each seemingly telling a story. Of, And that's what you see right now. Can you go again with the black, purple, and pink, what they have on them? Um, the pink people? stone has a carving of a cave on it, like a small cave. The purple stone has an upside-down U-shaped, like capital U. And the black stone has a half-sun carved into it. In Comic Rain's gonna go, so are there like instructions for this or? You gotta put them in the right order. I don't know what that means though. Well, why don't we just go read what the the little paragraphs say? And I'm gonna go over there. Uh does Call My Rain have dark vision? Um, I think tobacco do tabaxi have dark vision? I don't know, because I don't think D D cats like as a species have dark vision, but I don't know if tabaxi are similar. Just, yeah, I don't think they Oh, he has dark vision, yeah. Okay, cool. Never mind then. Um, but it's not a dark room here right now. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, that is what you um see. What do the paragraphs say? Um, so there's one on the left side of it, one in the center behind the statue, and one on the right side. And they're all just like lined up on the uh, walls in the back. Do you have a specific order you want to go in? just left to right from where we entered, I guess. Okay. Um, the first one on the far left says, Vashaba and Tamora were each formed out of the Great One, Taiki, who split during the Dawn Cataclysm. Upon arrival, Tamora was overconfident and malicious, leading to a fight breaking out between her and Tamora, a fight that has uh, and will seemingly continue for existence. And I'll put that in the chat. Okay, that's good. Um, first things first, I think that would be the one that's like represented by the half sun. Um, it's just the, because the sun is forever. It's the bottom half of the sun, right? Like is the it the sun. bottom half or a half sun? So it's it's like like a half sun. Um like so this. Like, or like this? Um, the one you have there. Okay. Like the, like a half circle, it's a half circle, right? But like north-south hemispheres, not east-west hemispheres. Like. Okay, so the bowl is downward. No, I mean, the bowl is upward. It depends on how you hold the stone, though, to be, to be fair. How have we found it? I guess. It's the 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 bowl is upwards and it has flames coming off of it. It's very clear it's a okay. sun. It's not just like a D. I would have told you if it was just an upside down D, probably. Okay. <laughs> um, no, it's like a, it, it's very clearly a sun. Um, so, that one, but it's only half of one. Like that. That's that's very yeah, close okay. to what it looks like. That's what yep. I was picturing. Uh, what does the second paragraph say? Later in life, Bashaba was displeased by a man named Doljust, leading to her turning him into a werebat a horrible creature of her own design. Local townsfolk feared him. Doljust as night often, um, feared uh, Doljust as at night, often children or dogs would go missing. Fearing the safety of their home, Bashaba crept into the dreams of a man named Luke in town. He felt it was his duty to destroy the lycanthrope. An epic battle raged, but Doljust was ousted and killed before the night had gone. And I'll put that in the chat for you. Maybe that could be the cave. Yeah, and then what's the last paragraph? For a time, Bashaba was said to have fallen in love with Tempest, a dwarven man who had stumbled upon her reflection in a pool in some random field of his homeland. He fell in love with her, and she with him. She vowed to live as a human to age with him, but in a short time she realized what that would truly mean. She would begin to age, and her beauty would fail her. Vanity overcame, and she fled into the night, leaving her love behind. 
She would visit at time in the form of some beast, but slowly she watched as Tempest aged into dust, vowing to never be harmed by man again. So and the so the last one is like an upside down U. Mm hmm Correct. I can draw that if you would like to see what it looks like, if that would be helpful to you. Yeah, yes. if it's just like if you as yet. I'll just show you just to give it a, a very good oh, actually care what you have here is pretty apt. Okay. That's what it looks like. What about the cave? Um Something like that. A little bit more jagged. The cave, a little bit more jagged. The U, the thing above it and to the left of that. Okay. And then the sun, you guys already got what that looks like. So we're supposed to put them in order. Um... So I think for the far left... Is the... Uh, considering, Assuming it's like a chronological order from left to right, and that's the order we're supposed to put it in. Uh, it would be sun, cave, and then the upside down U. Yes, I'm pretty sure the sun would go for the first one, which would be the black one, just yeah. because it says the dawn cataclysm, it's forever, it's continuous. And the second one the makes... Because he turned him into what? a wear... He turned... He, uh, Bishaba turned the guy into a wear bat. Uh, mm -hmm. Bats reside in caves. Uh reside in caves there we go michael uh and then the only thing i can think of for the uh the last one is that an upside down you kind of looks like a gravestone uh to some degree oh that's good i was thinking like the reflection of a you would be like a face and then you turn it upside down but yours is better yours is better uh, um okay so it would be yeah, Fathom. Black, pink, Fathom, purple. Yeah, Fathom would put them in that order. Sun, um, cave, I, I, Let's have me do it. That way no. you don't get hurt. I am the god here. I was chosen by the Shaba. I do. But you die in like one hit. I'll come back, I think. Maybe. We'll see. I can't heal you. <laughs> okay, so you walk up to it and do what? Um. And from left to right, it's pink, purple, black, right? Mm -mm. No. On the far left, it is black, which is that sun. Okay. Middle is the cave or pink. And then purple or the gravestone is last. Oh, wait. So it's already in the order. No. I don't know. Uh, they're currently in the order of pink, purple, then black. Okay, so that's what I needed. That's what I thought. Uh, so I'll move the black one to the furthest left um, for the half sun. I'll put the pink in the middle and the purple to the far right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you put one on each of these. And you kind of hear like a mechanism like like clicking behind it. Like... And the statue kind of like his head drops down onto it. And the chain falls off the door. Oh my god. Head. Woo! I'm gonna high five everyone. Woo! Um, <laughs> as you guys are like high five and get all happy and stuff, right behind you, Fathom, is the uh, like, uh, he's a Triton, by the way, if you guys are wondering, like a mer person. I oh. figured, because he said um, a fish, fish, like a scaly fish person. I'm like, oh, they're not CL, yeah. so it has to be it, a bird. Not. Yeah, not like the fish guys you guys fought in Prodmont, but he, he's a trident. All of a sudden, he's like standing right behind you like, good job, hero of Bashaba. Ah! Oh my god, where did you get there? Thank you. Can you put a bell around yourself so you don't surprise me again? You've made the uh, goddess quite proud. Shall we continue on to the next challenge? Yes. I'm gonna grab uh, Inna and Calm Like Rain's hands and I'm gonna like swing between them. Amethyst favorable. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, yeah, Tom Mike Green is gonna uh 
give you a big hug, tell you he's proud of you, and then look at Inna like this is a competition, and then continue moving. It is a competition. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> oh shit, someone's using an angelic bow over there. Oh. Um, you guys walk into the next room, and you find yourselves in the center, or relatively in the center, of a large, or like, actually, sorry, a relatively small arena. Um, the arena is a um, hundred feet in each direction, so like a hundred foot diameter um, circle. Or no, diameter. Hundred foot diameter circle. Um, and you guys are just kind of find yourself standing here, and uh, the wizard says, "Good luck with your next challenge, and may she." Uh, Decide misfortune should befall your enemy and not you. And after he says that, he kind of just takes a seat. He's the only one in the audience watching this. And then draws her her weapon. And you turn and see, um, let me describe it. Uh, this horrid, black, cloaked creature with this dark, ugly, wretched face staring at you, arms outstretched, and um. He is going to look at you, Fathom, and go. And can I have us roll into initiative? How we're going to do it, just tell me your rolls. We're going to go old school D&D, &D, and I'm going to explain to you guys with words what's happening in this fight until oh we get God. that ready. It's oh theater God. of the mind. I just didn't know it was possible. It is Let me get some dice ready. Ooh, nat 20 for a 24. Nice. Hey, well, I'm gonna get advantage, so let's do my sparkly ones. Two nat ones. Okay, a so ten and eleven. Fathom twenty, you got 15. an eleven. I got a fifteen. Oh, fifteen. Um, can I have someone roll for calm like rain? I got I'm gonna add roll. something to it. Let me. Um, um, eighteen. Okay. I got eighteen. Okay, I. Okay, fine. You win. You win. At eighteen. Yeah. All right. Um, and then. I just think as his fictional boyfriend, I should roll for him. <laughs> Honestly, fair. Okay. I'm nervous. Ugh, I'm like, I'm, ugh, my hands are sweaty. I'm nervous. Yeah, it's just the three of you in the alone in this room facing this this just horrid cloaked creature. Um, and let me see. This is gonna be so the turn order is gonna be fathom. Then calm like rain. Then Anna. Then the um, creature. How did That's I always go last? Um, everyone rolled pretty solid, right? So you rolled a fifteen, and that was in the middle. Um, as you are, um, so fathom. As you're the first one to go, this creature is looking at you just straight in the eye. And can I have you roll me a um, con save, please? Specifically, a saving throw. Oh boy. Uh, oh, not my greatest. Uh, 13. Okay, cool. Anything happen? No. Okay. He has really gross eyes, though. He has what? Really gross eyes. Uh, Fathom will gag oh. a little bit. Um, you are currently where you're standing. Um, you and Inna are next to each other, and Calm Like Rain is slightly behind you. Uh, this man stands about 35 feet in front of you right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to just use my bonus action to roll on my spirits table real quick. Okay. Uh, for a two. Uh, Tale of the Renowned Duelist. I make a melee spell attack against the target. On a hit, the target takes force damage equal to two rolls on my bardic die plus my charisma. That's I'm, a fun one. I don't. I haven't gotten that one very often. I'm gonna go no, ahead and use it. And I'm gonna pull out my rapier and I'm just gonna go unguard. Um. So a melee spell attack. Uh. What is my spell modifier? Six. Yep. All right. Plus six. We'll see it. Eighteen. 18 appears to hit this thing. Okay, so 2d8 plus 3. Yeah, 2d8 plus 3. Where's my other d8? Uh, 6 plus 3, 9 force damage. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just kind of strike this thing and the kind of shoulder pops back slightly. Can you scrub the monster again? Um, on your turn again. Yeah, that's fair. And then I'll anything else happen? Back up ten feet. <laughs> Go back up ten feet. Yeah. Okay, so you should be standing about 45 feet away from him. So you're now standing next to Calm Like Rain. He's directly at your side. Okay. Uh, actually, I'll back okay. up another five uh, to get kind of... Another five? So he's slightly in front of you? Yeah. Okay. Um, Inna, you are not next. Sorry, Calm Like Rain's next. Um, Calm Like Rain is going to uh, look to you for uh, direction a little bit and say... Um, uh okay hero of of uh Vishaba, what are we doing and then he is going to take a uh two short bow attacks at this thing is that phoba oh mm-hmm. and he gets actually I myself he gets three I short bow sword. attacks because it's his first turn um he gets three yeah, because of his his abilities. I'm looking through them right now. Um, okay, let me see. Uh, he can choose. Is he a dragon? He also. Or... Yeah. Nice. Or a gloom stalker. He's he's a ranger. He, yeah. He's a ranger. Yeah. So he is gonna um, let me roll his uh short bow attacks. So the first one. Um, is a hundred percent going to hit. Um. Second one is also going to hit, and then his third one is going to definitely miss on that one. Um, first to hit, um, and he deals an extra 1d8 on top of it oh for his first turn in combat. Stalker's Fury. You did, didn't hit. Uh, you would think that, but I'm controlling a guy on your team, so of course he's going to be really good. <laughs> oh, Mako. You oh, guys see Mako's wait. thing? Wait. Um, okay, so that is going to be... How much damage that is? On a 1d10. Oh, man. That's at level 3. Bruh. Damn. She rolled really well for her actual hit, though. Well, no. Do not... It, it's uh that would be 19 damage in total so 19 out of a possible 30 that's ac- that's actually really good so well she hit 18 out of 20 for her first one so proud of her okay um you see uh so calm like rain um shoots two arrows into this guy one into each of his shoulders and these are solid hits the third one misses but these seem like solid hits um however the arrows just go into him and then kind of wither into nothing after they've stabbed into him. But they definitely made contact and stabbed into him good. And then Calm Like Rain goes, now what? Um, I actually have good one hits. more thing I need to do. Um, and he is going to. Yeah, he definitely, he feels good. He goes, his eyes are ugly. And then he rolled a nat 20 on something. And uh, roll me a con save. Specifically a save. Oh, okay. Right? Um... Yeah, I think Khan's like the one that I don't have advantage on, which sucks. So I have advantage on like three of them. Such is life. Okay, yeah, nothing happens. Oh, thank God. Um, However, again, his eyes are just, they're just disgusting. So I'm going to run up to the left side of him. Um, Um, So you are currently standing... Um, 35 feet away from him, so it would be 30 feet to get next to him. Okay. Um, he is this ugly, dark creature wearing a black cloak. Humanoid looking, um, wearing a black cloak. Okay. Um, I'm going to bonus action rage. I'm going to take that off. Um, and then I'm going to look him down and go, Who the fuck do you think you are? And... Oh, 20 damage on that first one, though? What? Um, 27 will hit. Okay. Well, 20. Uh, 20 also seems to Um, hit. I got max and min damage on that. That's why is it that wild. strange? I'm confused. Strength plus... Th- why is it four times... Wait, what did you call plus four plus three plus one? Yeah. Um, Damn. yeah, because I'm a fucking goblin. Hmm. Um, so that's really nice for me. 
and I will take 29 damage for that first hit. And that was min on the second one. It could have been 40 Yeah, maximum damage. and min is wild. Um, and that was with your big fancy new axe, right? Obviously, it was with my big fancy new axe, and it's magic weapon. Damage. Yeah, you um slash into this thing quite nicely. Um, and uh, anything else? Um, yeah. So I would like to expend a charge to cause it to bleed. Um, so it'll be one of the charges. Mm -hmm. It must make a con save. Okay. Uh, 15. Fine. Does not bleed? No. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? No, that's it. Okay. No one's failed my thing yet to really take damage. It's fine, but like... <laughs> I, no, I just the, don't know what to tell the you. The officer failed one last time. He failed one. Yeah. One. Um, it's something? It's something. It's something. You know, okay. when is a win? Um, Fathom, does a 16 hit? Oh, 100%, yeah. Um, All of a sudden next to you, you see this kind of small, slimy, clawed creature looking at you, and he seemingly appeared out of nowhere, and you're certain he wasn't there before, as he takes a slash at you, um, <laughs> dealing... Uh, five piercing damage, and... Four poison damage. Um, and can I have a con save from you? Oh boy. Um, also, you take five uh, necrotic damage. Honestly, you don't like being close to this guy. He feels gross. Uh, ten. It's a bitch move. What, what'd you roll? A ten. Okay, yeah, you're good. Oh, okay. Barely. But you 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 pulled it out of that one. I only have um, plus one to con saves, and that's only because of jack of all trades. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Um, and that's his turn. Um, and now the other thing. Um, now the the, the creature in the black cloak. Who was the other guy that just went? Uh, something that appeared out of nowhere next to Fathom and took a slash at him. Um, the next thing is. Uh, Anna, take a, uh, or make me a con save. Cool. Okay. Um, you are going to take, um, some necrotic damage. Yeah, makes sense. Bro, you gonna die. I got horsey, don't worry. Um, will you take 26 necrotic damage? Dude, fuck you. Mm. All of a sudden, I'm at half health. <laughs> and literally, he just turns and looks at you. He kind of cocks his head and just stares at you. And you feel your body just kind of rumble a little bit inside of itself. Um. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. Uh, I fucked up really bad. Inna, you, this is actually, I, I it's because I'm not looking at the map. Um, Inna, this room is filled with mud. Um, and so it is um, a difficult terrain. You actually can't run um, all the way to him in last turn. I'm going to just fudge it and you can have your damage. Uh, but you would not have been able to get over to him without dashing because you can only move half speed through the mud. Okay. Um, so I'm going to uh, let you have that damage, but he is going to step further away from you, um, ending his turn um, 45 feet away from you. Um, damn. I really fucked myself on that one. You should not have been able to get to him at all. Can I still do myself to take the cold damage from being close to him? Yeah, that one you do. That That was not... That would not be... Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, if he takes his damage, you have to take yours. That's insane. That's, yeah. Uh, the other one, he was able to do it from the distance you were away. Um, but with that, Fathom is your turn. He is now on the full other side of the arena, 75 feet away from you. And is there... Is that little... And the thing? other dude is directly at your side. Yeah, he is um, directly behind you. Um, uh, just chilling there um, with a little ugly claws. Okay. Uh... I'm... 
so the guy is like far away from Anna now, right? What? The guy like the the guy is away from Anna now, right? Yeah, the guy is on the other end of the arena. At this point, Anna is about in the center and you are on the far end about where you came in. Okay. You and Conley Green are. And everywhere is mud. Everywhere is mud. This whole arena is mud. Any movement is gonna be only half is gonna be half. Ooh. So you used all your movement to move the 15 feet last time. Sorry about that. That's the I was supposed that was like the main thing here. It's just I wasn't looking at it and I, I got myself. Now you're good. It's good to know though. Um I am going to roll my spirits bar table again as my bonus okay. action. For a seven. Oh, okay. Uh, that's my Tale of the Phantom. That's the one where uh, I can go invisible, and then there's a bunch of other stuff. I'm going nice. to hold on to yeah. that, though. Uh, and I'm going to actually take a rapier stab at the thing that hit me. Okay. Let's see it. I don't use my weapon very often. For very obvious reasons. 14? Um, That'll hit him. Oh, thank God. Okay, 1d8 plus 3. Okay, seven uh, plus three, ten piercing damage, not magical. Yeah, you stab this thing, and he just like withers to the ground, and then dies. Okay, cool. Oh. I'm gonna gag a little bit, and that'll be my turn. No, that's just fair. Um, that's your turn. Yeah. Um, calm like rain is gonna be like again. What do we do here? Should I run up? And then he's going to attempt to run up. He is going to move himself um, 15 feet forward um, using his full movement and then make some short bow attacks. Let's do this. Um, which one will hit? Okay. Um, it hits, but it really just glances off this thing in a way that's kind of disappointing. Um, and again, the, the arrow withers shortly after it hits him. Okay. And Calm is like, fuck. Ah. Um, and at which point, um, Anna, you are up. He is 45 feet away from you. Now that you've moved, you know that, um, it's going to be, uh, you, it, you're only moving at about half speed. Um, uh, I'm going to go calm like rain, move the fuck towards it, and then bonus action, horsey activate. Horsey's going to appear. Okay. Um, and I would like to take. Wait, so, sorry. Can you? You said you're gonna move half the distance towards them, or you're gonna no. move? You're not moving yet. I haven't moved yet. Okay. I said move your ass to, um, the guy who hasn't moved at all. Call my grade. He he just moved. Okay. You're the only one that, or uh, Fathom's the only one that moved backwards. Yeah. yeah. Move. I'm I'm just gonna yell at him. Okay. It feels appropriate. I would like to take Horsey's turn and Enna's turn at the same time. I would like Enna to jump onto Nightshade. Uh, you can't take them at the same time, can you? I don't know. You were just saying it so confidently. I believe the horse goes after you is what we've had done in the past. Okay. Um, but I don't recall that to be... It's not the same time, regardless. It would be either one after you, or we'd have to roll for them to take their thing. Okay, so I'm going to activate Nightshade. Okay. And then um, I'm going to do two attacks. He's how far away from me right now? He is 45 feet away from you 45. right now. 45. And then Nightshade just right next to you, right? Yeah. Cool. Um, so from 45, I'm going to move, let's see how much closer I need to. I'm going to move 15 feet closer, so that's 30 feet. So I'm going to be 30 feet away. Yep. Do two javelin attacks at him. Okay. Um, the 15 will hit. Okay. Um, for seven damage. Yeah, your javelin does the same thing. It hits yeah. it and it just withers into nothing. I figured I would try, though. Um, I was on my javelins, actually. Right. So, um... Well, the first one didn't hit him, so it's still technically regatherable. Okay. Um, that will be Enna's turn. Um, cool. You take five necrotic damage. Again, you just felt like, is that last step you took close to him? It kind of, you felt this disgusting feeling. It's not, uh, uh, oh, that was, uh, Mako was like, no, you don't roll a save to it. You just felt disgusting being near okay. him. 
30 How are you doing, feet, by the way? 30 feet close. Not great. With all that necrotic damage over 23 there. 23 HP left. How much um, did you start with? 59. Damn. So um, you're taking 10 plus the 26. Mm -hmm. mm. So then I'm going to go to Nightshade. Okay. Nightshade is going to pick Anna up. Um, is that okay? Yeah. And it's not going to attack. But um, Nightshade is going to fly over to um, the man. Okay. And he's going to do a health attack. Um, okay. Um, I'm, well, I'm conflicted. Okay. Because if Nightshade got you on top of him, that, that takes some time. It's not like you reserved your action to get on the horse or anything. Um, sure, you can have a hoof attack, but like theoretically, I don't think you could do probably all of that in a turn. Okay. But yes. I mean, sure, why not? Oh, um, yeah, 15 hits. Oh, God. No, I know it hits. Oh, you know it hits? Yeah, because a 15 hit earlier. Um, yeah, uh, this thing... Cool. Yeah, it hits it, and it feels like that should do a ton, but it did not do as much as you thought it would. Yeah, I think it has resistance to, like, bludgeoning and piercing. Um, Even the fire doesn't seem to burn it and just kind of like, dissipates pretty quickly. It's really fucked up. Like, most of all the all the things. Yeah, and Nightshade's going to take five necrotic damage. I think Nightshade's um, He just uh, has the 60, 60 to start it. Yeah, you I mean, I keep track of yeah. that. Um, anything else in it? Um, Nightshade's gonna whimper, or not whimper, like, right? Whimper. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Um, this guy is going to, um, again, look at Anna, and Anna, give me a con save. Yeah. Um. Be less than 23. Cool. Um, you are going to take twenty-five necrotic damage as you just crumple before you. He again just stares at you, and you're like kind of way back right now, Fathom. And you just watch this happen. He just stares at him, and uh, in a, and then Inna just like just crumples to the ground, okay. um, unconscious. Um, and then he turns and looks up at the horse and just kind of, that's all you see. You see him looking up the horse. Adam, you are currently, um, 70 feet away from Inna, 75 away from this guy, 70 away from Nightshade, and 20 away from Calm Like Rain. I would kind of been like to, I would like to use all of my movement, all of 15 of it, um, to get within uh, 60 feet. I think it'll be 55 feet away at that point. Yep, you are 55 feet away at this point. And I will cast Healing Word at level 3 through my Lyre. Okay. Uh, it's only one, two. Actually, I'm... I'll burn a level 4 on this. Okay. Uh, it is important. and We have to protect it. I am important. Thank you for understanding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so through my layer, I get an extra d6. Oh, if I can grab any of my dice, that'd be fantastic. Um, okay, a two. I need to hit it again. Oh my god. That's an, okay, I rolled three fours and a two, so that alone is 14. Uh, plus okay. five is 17, plus three is 20. You said 14 plus five is 17? Or no, that's 21. 14 plus 5 is 19, plus 3 more is 22. Sorry, 22. What? I'm stupid. 14. Yeah, 22. You get 22. Right. Awesome. I got Nicely excited. done. I got excited about all the 4s. You tried to... No, that's pretty solid, Fathom. Say you had less than... You did. You did great. Oh, Colby. <laughs> that luck point, though. No, that wasn't... Yeah, the luck point to get the 10. What's the D4, though? That's a 15. A that's a 15 for Kong. That's true. Um, anything else, Fathom? And then I'm gonna I'm gonna call the dude uh ugly. Yes. Okay. He vicious, is vicious mockery. Uh can I get a yeah. wisdom save? Yes, you can. Uh 17. Yeah, 100 percent passes. Nothing happens to him. 
Yeah, he lets out like a hiss at you. Um, and with that, then calm like rain is going to move another fifteen feet forward, then make his bow attacks. Can I use or... my reaction to yell at him? Don't get too close. Uh, yes, you can. Okay, I'll burn my reaction um, for that. Cool. He is at the end of his turn, forty-five feet away from him. Um, one of those will hit. You mean, ooh, max damage. Um, okay. If theoretically, it should deal eleven. Um, but again, the arrow strikes him and withers away. Does it look like the arrows are actually doing damage, or just hitting him and just wither him? Um, you can ask me that on your turn, and I can have you roll for it. Fair point. Anna, you are prone on the ground. This thing has stepped slightly back from you, but you are prone on the ground, but back with 20. Am I on Nightshade? Um, no, you would have fallen off going unconscious. So I'm how far from him? Um, falling off Nightshade, you are 10 feet away from him. You can definitely move up close if you want to. Oh, but actually, can I have a con save for you? Because um, you definitely see his eyes starting your turn near him. Do I notice that it's his eyes I need to look at? It, it, you can't really avoid it. I just need a con save. Uh, six. Cool, you're fine. Finally! About damn time. <laughs> what is a flail tentacle? <laughs> uh, tentacle that goes... Um, I don't like that. it. I'm going to go... First of all, does he have any weapons in his hands? No. I'm going to go... Ten feet. So it's half your feet to move up, half yeah, your movement? Yeah, I've got twenty feet. Do you have forty normally? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have yeah, you have ten feet of movement. Yeah, yeah, you could get next to him. Um, I'm going to get up there and rage again. Okay. Do. Uh, the twenty five hits. Damn, that's so unfortunate. Um, doing fifteen damage, and then I will use a um thing. So I need a what's it? Con save. Um, what are you doing? I'm gonna do a charge. Oh, yeah, yeah. I need yeah. a con save. If you could fail it, that'd be really nice. Um, a ten. Yeah, you failed it. Um, you're gonna take. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it happens on his turn again. Yeah. But I'm gonna roll it for now. It worked. It's not how it works. Can I re-roll it later? No. If you you said you were using it, what'd you roll? One. Okay. Well, that was your choice. <laughs> you got this um. Card. Anyway. Thanks, Marshall. Anything else? Um, I'm going to jump on Nightshade. Um, you may not have enough time. movement left to get back. Okay, as a... Okay. Um, you used your when... bonus action and your action. Yeah. When... Okay. That's enough. Yes. All right, Nightshade is currently um, uh, 10 feet away from the guy. Or 15 feet away from the guy, technically, but... Did it look to Nightshade like his hoof attack did anything last time? Um, Nightshade's a horse, so give me an <laughs> intelligence check from a horse. The same... Uh, Feels like it hit him. Definitely, he made contact. He felt a solid hit against this guy. Okay. Um, he's going to do a hoof attack and attempt to pick up Enna. Um... I'm going to say you can do one or the other. Okay. I'm going to do a um, hub attack. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, again, he just whacks into this thing and then fire comes out of it and the thing seems less bothered than you would like it to. Okay. Um, it mm. is going to fly... Um, so it's 40 feet away from him. Cool. As he flies away, this thing is going to attack him. Really hateful. Um, so he's going to be 40 feet away. Okay. Why would he not do that? He is going to take... Oh, 21. AC? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just made sure I read that right. Um, and he will take... Um, four bludgeoning damage and uh, twelve necrotic damage. So sixteen total. Sixteen total. Yeah, for nightshade. And then, um, in a you will take five necrotic damage. Um, but it doesn't seem like nightshade does. 
anything else for Nightshade. No. Okay. Um, that is now this guy's turn. And let me see. Let's see. Cool. He is going to take a step to the side of you, Anna, where he's still next to you. And um, he is going to look at Fathom and say, um, stay down, hero of Bashaba. And can I have a con save? This man is just giving out con saves. He doesn't like it's just his, That's his thing. Uh, 14? Uh, 14? You, you pass it, barely, so you're going to take half of this still, though. Fuck, okay. Um, so I roll... Okay. Ooh, I rolled nice. Okay, 19, 25, 28. Nice. I rolled 28, so you're going to take 14 necrotic damage. Already below half. Okay. Um, and that's his turn. So we are back to Fathom. Uh... Okay. Uh oh fuck. Um How far away is he now? Did he follow Inna so he's closer? Um he is sixty feet away from you specifically, so he could do his move last time. Okay, perfect. I'm going to cast Inna is also sixty feet away from you. Um okay. I'm going to cast Phantasmal Force. Um, on him. Okay. So can I get an intelligence save? Um, an intelligence save from him? Yes. Let me do that. Okay. Uh, 12. Uh, he fails. Sweet. Uh, nice. So for this phantasmal force, I want... This isn't going to be a damaging one. Um, I want him to see uh me like 30 feet away to the right or something like that just completely away mm -hmm. from me <laughs> and with phantasmal force he believes that i am 30 feet in the other direction yeah no definitely uh and i'm actually going to spend all of my movement 15 feet running the other direction of where it is of where i set the illusory thing okay i like that i love it big brain Anything else? Uh, that's all I can do. <laughs> cool. Unlike Rain, will heed your warnings and just stay where he is. Um, uh, one of his hits again, dealing consistency. Um, should should be nine piercing damage theoretically. Oh fuck! Okay, ah, damn. I do it on my next turn. Is it my turn? Um, yes, it's your turn, Anna. Okay, I'm you going, are next, directly next to him. I'm going to go calm like rain. Uh, can I have a con save from you before you do anything? I'm gonna use my inspiration. Okay. So we just take the higher of the two. Yeah. Didn't matter, but um, that's okay. That's funny. Yeah. Um. So you you would be fine. Okay. I was just worried that I'd get down that turn, and I really didn't want to get down. Calm like rain. Use a magical weapon. Not what you're doing. Um, and then... Just casually bring out his magic weapon. He's chilling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use Reckless Attack and do two at advantage. Yeah, um, would you describe to me how this thing dies? Yeah! Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> um... I would like to cut him shoulder to hip. Okay. And then I'd like for it to go clean in half. And at first you're like, oh damn, did she even hit him? But then with my next one, you just see the top half slide down his body. Yeah, as you like slash through, you're waiting for that really satisfying thing of just like slipping to the side, but it just dissipates into nothing and the cloak just falls to the ground. <laughs> Way to kill the mood, William. 
I, I, I I'm sorry. It's just specifically <laughs> he has a way that he dies. It's not. <laughs> uh, we rarely have creatures that die a specific way, but he has a specific way he dies. I'm um, kind of glad I used my inspiration just in case. Um, yeah, and with that, you guys just hear um, in the back. Can we have... Okay. What do you want? A potty break. Yeah, let's take five real quick, and then I can explain what happened next. Sweet. Okay. Baby. Marshall, what do you think of that? The, the trying the theater of the mind fight. I really like theater of the mind. It's so I have like. I'm oh, sorry. No, I was just gonna say it's a little more taxing from the DM because um, you specifically have to like remember where everything is. But I genuinely well, enjoyed the pulled up on the tokens, so I was able to do it. Okay. Uh, no problem. Um, did you like the closet? The single closet that showed up just to slash at you. That's what that was? Yeah. I hate you. <laughs> he that... showed up just for that. He has 7 HP. He was always going to die so quickly. I just wanted him to get one hit in. Was it really just and... one? Yo. William. That's targeted. <laughs> that feels homophobic. Oh. The thing is, I like, we, we try to plan these fights based off of HP, and obviously we didn't want you guys to, like, die outright mm -hmm. in a um when you're in a separate room and everything from people um but you guys y'all wrecked this poor guy i wanted to uh tell you a little bit about this creature um so, so whenever oh, when, when kara gets back i want to just kind of sh tell you what um a little bit about them i just sent you some pictures of nova meeting my parents new puppy for the first time she did really 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 good yes. um that's fair. That was adorable. She also just puked, apparently, but it's fine. Oh, poor baby. So, what we, um, so this guy, 
has resistance to cold, fire, necrotic, necrotic, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from oh, non-magical attacks. That... Go again. Cold, fire, and necrotic. Oh, and then resistance. Okay. And then also bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks. He also has immunities to lightning and poison damage and condition immunities to charmed, frightened, and poisoned. Um, one of his things was the Aura of Annihilation. Basically, if you end your turn within 30 feet of it, you just take 5 necrotic damage. The next one is the Death Gaze, that uh, when a creature starts its turn within 30 feet of it, the creature makes a DC 13. Um, if you fail by 5 or more, you would have gone straight to 0 hit points. If not, you take 3d10 on a, a psychic damage on a failed save, but nobody ever failed that one. Yeah, it's it's just seeing it. And that's it's not like once you pass it, you're good. Um, that would have to be any time you end within 30, 30, or you start within 30 feet of it. You could have easily killed us if we rolled bad. Yeah, that's how things work. The other thing was that's the withering gaze. So he had a fist attack where he punches and does bludgeoning necrotic damage, but it's kind of weak. His thing is basically staring at you. And the other one was... Uh, DC 13 con save. You guys kept rolling 13s. I was so pissed because that's what the con save was. <laughs> or take uh, 40 kin necrotic damage on a failed save. Holy so technically that should only be... Yeah, that should be 25, right? And I was rolling around 25 every time. 26 for you guys. I was upset. Um, but yeah, that's the creature you fought. He didn't have that much HP in the end in comparison to some of the creatures. Yeah. Right? Um, he had uh, an amount. Why do you never tell me anything? Because okay. then you start to, to count cards, basically. Uh, I was a little bit over here. Is did you guys homebrew this thing, or is it like a uh, an actual creature? Um, he is an actual creature that I believe is technically a homebrewed one. There's a couple different versions of this creature, okay. um, depending on where you look. Are we allowed to know? Because I am very curious. Give me a religion check. Fathom's proficient. Never okay, mind. champion of. When you roll. I rolled a six. Okay. I I feel okay, so I switch out my dice a lot, and yeah. I feel like that does me really well with my rolls. However, religion always escapes me. I I don't with Geth, I don't think I've ever You're rolled not, above a twelve. Yeah. yeah. It's not playing religious character. That's fine. He's not, not religious. religious. <laughs> what, I, what went through Fathom, Fathom's mind when Bashaba chose him, by the way? Uh, well, Fathom's still, like, super immature, if you didn't catch on to that already. Um, so yeah. you thought of this as more of, like, an exciting new adventure that he could tell stories about later on, and how he could claim he was Bishaba's mm -hmm. champion or whatever, um, and how he could spin that into a fun oh. tale to tell in bars later on in life and stuff like that. Uh, so he wasn't, like, too worried, um, until we got to the fight with the big thing and saw the eye hanging out, grossed him out a bit, and he's like, oh... Might be in over my head, so thank God Inna and Rain are here. <laughs> you I know, the big head. Fair enough. But you brought me back from life. I wasted my from only life. level four spell slot. <laughs> I could have turned you into a giant polar bear, though. Next time. How can we okay. get you both? Um, so with this, uh, as you guys finish this thing, it kind of disappears, leaving his cloak on the ground. You hear. Well done, hero of Bashaba. But we must not wait. There is one more challenge for you to face. Um, can we do like a little rest before we go? No. Oh. <laughs> Come on. And he'll motion for you to follow him. I will trudge through the mud, very determined. Um, I'm going to go on horsey. Yeah, you don't want to go in the mud. <laughs> I got a um, horse, dude. So how does the horse work as far as, like, how long he's here? Um, 24 hours. He's here for 24 hours? Um, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Um, Just to double check everything. I also sh shed light. Um, I forget how long I'm here. You know, are you the horse now? <laughs> Okay, 11 initiative, cool. What's it actually called? Uh, a, nightmare. Um, a nightmare. But that's not where you need to be checking it. You need to be checking your... 
your it's, token? It's not in my token. What? Uh... This polished obsidian horse can become a nightmare for up to 24 hours. Oh. Y'all have handouts for all of these for this reason. I forgot I had handouts. Yeah, 24 Um, hours. What did you say? 24. 24 hours? Cool. Okay. I'm just making sure he's cool. Just, yeah, you'd be with you. Um, The wizard's going to lead you through. through, um, I think he's a wizard. Yeah, he he called you. He was said it like three times. He told you he's the red wizard of Fae. Yeah. They slash them. Fae. T H A Y. (laughs) The red wizard of the <laughs> Pronouns? Um, and he's going to lead the the four of you now through um a uh, a, a door that just kind of leads you into um it kind of feels like the door you just walked through should not take you into where you find yourself now. And you are just in this massive arena. Um it's a Again? huge arena with no this last one you're in a small arena. This one is massive. Um, so before, the last one okay, was a so. hundred feet across. This one is at least two hundred and fifty um, across. Arena. Um, there is large stands up above it. Directly across from you sits a massive door, like kind of like like that you would like a big door that would open up like this, you know, kind of like outward, like two things. Um, and then up in the arena, you see hundreds, maybe thousands of tritons and leonins of all ages sitting around, walking in, like children, um, men, women, teenagers, all just sitting around talking. Some of them are eating snacks, kind of just filling in the arena slowly. Fathom, are we about to become a show? <gasps> maybe. Okay, what does this arena look like? Are there, like, pillars in it? Are there, uh... So, in the arena you're in, uh, the ground is... What's... Uh, sorry. Um, the ground is, like, sand. There are maybe two... Or, uh, like, probably about two dozen large stones. About five foot by five foot stones. Um, like, massive, like, round ones. Um, that are about... That are kind of scattered randomly around the arena. But... That that's it. That's in there. It's literally just an empty sand pit and then a bunch of stones. Quick, human, heal me. Uh, healing word, level three. Through my liar. Go for it. Yeah, throw it. Or you can do that. Uh, four. Well, notice that the uh, wizard is no longer with you. Um, however, you see the ten um people, the five wizards and the five uh luck bringers um sitting together somewhere up in the arena watching. Nineteen plus three, nineteen. Nineteen healing. Damn. I rolled, I rolled really high on my. Wait, did you say seven healing plus nineteen? No, uh, uh, no. It's three plus seven is ten plus six from a four and a two plus a three, so it's nineteen total. Nineteen total. Okay. Is that what you got? Yeah. Cool. Um, and then you have track of yours and nightmare. The, the, the yeah, nightmare. nightmare's at forty-seven right now. Cool. Um, yeah, and this is where you guys are at. Calm like rain um, has taken no damage. Um, Good for him. I'm gonna hold his hand. Uh, he just kind of sat back and shot some arrows. His first turn, he really went off, and then after that was just kind of feeling a little bit. The arrows were hitting him. They were just half damage. Um, so everyone was hitting him. It was just hitting him slower than you would probably like to hit him. Um, but yeah, this is where you guys find yourself. Is there like a uh, uh, what are those things called? Like the skybox sort of thing where officials sit. Um, there is a, a kind of like a skybox thing, and you see those ten um people that were in the first room when you arrived in this area. Okay, uh, I'm gonna wave to them. Um. They'll, you'll you'll kind of wave up to them, and the one that's been traveling with you kind of waves back, and everyone else is being very stoic. I'm going to have Nightshade do a little, like, spiral so I can wave and look really pretty to everyone like this. So I want the crowd to go wild. Yeah, when you start kind of, like, you, what do you do? Like, explain what you do. So Nightshade's going in a small spiral around. I'm going... Yeah, as you... Like, waving my stuff. Um, so are you trying to, like, move around the entire arena? No, like, in a small... Your- Oh, yeah, you're doing it. The people are cheering. Um, a lot of, especially, you'll notice the Tritons like cheering really big for you. Like, yeah, oh, hey, 
Oh my god, are we about to fight our friends? <gasps> Is there... Okay, we came in through an entrance. How many other entrances can we see? You see across from you that massive door. Um, also, um, kind of like... So that's across from you, straight across. Kind of to the side of you, you see another door similar in size to the one you came through. Are we about to fight our friends? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, are we? Why is only one side cheering for us? They're both people cheered. The Tritons just seem to cheer harder. Yeah, because they're with the uh, Red Wizards of Fae. We're Bishaba's people. It's no big deal. Um, I would like to cast Major okay. Image. Um, can I have you guys move back to the other room? Oh, mm -hmm. And then we'll come back to what you just said. Um, Marshall, I'm worried. Ready. Yeah, just come back as soon as you, uh, as soon as you can. They're going to take a quick bathroom break. We're going to take a quick bathroom break. Sorry, guys, uh, but we'll be right back. <sighs> okay. Appreciate your patience. Uh, and Will, you're going to explain to them what they see when they step through into the, yeah. Thank you. Nova won't eat steak. Her she's stressed. Mm -hmm. I like how everyone's acting like she has no stress right now. This does not hurt. That ain't Nova. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay. I'm sorry, Fathom. <laughs> Damn. Um, what's the casting time on that, by the way? Uh, in action. In action? Cool. Uh, actually, then, let, me, let me double check that real quick. I'm pretty sure it's in action. Yeah, one action. Yeah, then you're definitely going to be able to do that. Because I wanted to join Inna um, as she's doing her little parade. Also, Shady Lane's emailed me back. Okay. I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, the seller. Ah, yes. What is that? Are we not? Is it, it right yeah, now? Shady Lane's was the one we weren't doing. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'm not worried about it. It's French Valley is the one we liked. Yep. I got those two confused. Sorry. You're good. Yeah. Okay, and who was in a bullying over there? We saw those damage rolls. <laughs> like they were. Um, oh, no. You guys can you guys can discuss it in character in a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But like, worry about it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> can I ask just what is the last thing you guys did just briefly? Uh, we were at the Tamor statue. We had the offering bowl. We had to try to remember the phrase, a copper, yeah. uh, 
gets 10 gold in return. Laurel gets to silver and got me poisoned. And then uh, yeah. I well, luckily yeah, I was... More, so that's not my fault. Well, yeah, the right, others... I, I said the right answer. Then the Laurel's like, no, a silver. Well, the uh, other people will be able to tell you uh, within time, but they didn't get poisoned. So, you know. But I, I healed myself, so I'm okay. All right, we're back. You can go ahead. Okay. Yeah, you guys. Um, so the group that just joined, the Heroes of Tamora, you guys walk through this door, and this door feels like it should not lead you to where you kind of find yourself now, but you find yourselves in this massive arena um, with really tall walls um, and uh, just a crowd of people filling the, the, the stadium up. You see um, kind of a sand arena in front of you, um, <laughs> uh, kind of like a sand arena in front of you, um, and about a maybe two dozen large um, round stones kind of scattered throughout. Um, you see Tritons and Leonin people of all ages, um, children all the way up to old people just in the stands kind of filing in. You see some snacking, enjoying themselves. In kind of a box, you see five um, luck bringers and five wizards of Thay that you saw in that first room when you arrived here. Um, but more importantly, you see Anna running in a circle um, with uh, her her a horse. Spiral. Yeah, like running in a, like a spiral by herself with her horse, uh, getting the crowd to cheer while a giant um, a giant dragon made purely of bones and fire is just kind of cheer like standing behind her. Um, it appears to be a um, an image of 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 da of, of um, fathoms in a way. Um, and people seem to be cheering for them. But as you guys step through the room, a burst of cheers goes through. You see lots of people cheering, but most specifically, um, uh, the Leonin seem to be cheering extra hard for the three of you as you walk through. Um, across from you guys each, on the far other side, you see a massive doorway. And that's what you guys see. Oh. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, where y'all get the dragon? <laughs> I am Bashava's champion. It is only right that I have a beast as mighty of a dragon as my steed. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hi guys. Um, do you think they're gonna have us fight each other? Um, you guys should see yourselves on the map. You're that far away from each other. Y'all just screaming yeah. this back and forth. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Yeah. He's a friend from 105 feet. Oh my god, we really are really far apart. Um, uh, I hope not. What happened to that character token in the bottom right? Does anyone see that? Oh, I see it. It just like for some reason Mako's moved. They're all moved. Yeah. I Mako was a polar bear. Yeah, by the way. Um, yeah, will you set it up how it, or pull anyone that would be there? Were, were there any other summons or anything? Nightmare was out here, so. Just no, wondering. bring baby boy out here, please. What? Was the fail? No. Yeah, you can't just summon him all of a sudden. Um, as you guys are sitting here, all of a sudden you hear a, a booming voice coming up from that box, that, that like press box looking area. And um the voice seems like you guys have all heard Thaumaturgy before, like someone casting that across the arena goes, Welcome all to the arena here in Theros. We have all come together, of course, to watch the um, worshippers of the... Yeah, you, at this point, the Fae can kind of summon up if you're going to be doing this while this is happening. Uh, v, can you drag that out? Um, yeah. We come here to celebrate the twin goddesses of Tamora and Vishava and find out if the heroes before you have luck or misfortune to befall them. The party, um, led by our dear sweet Dazith, has completed the tasks of Tamora, while the other party, party led by their dear friend Fathom, has defeated the tasks of Vishava, and they find themselves here today to take on an even greater challenge, but one that would bring on glory and people let out a massive cheer. 
and riches. And they let out like a smaller cheer. Um, oh, shit. Um, and they say, this is your last chance to leave. You will not gain the favor of our ladies, but you will walk away safe. Are you going to have us kill each other? He does not respond. They just look down at you. Uh, Bro, if you're gonna do that, that you, you might want to come back over here. You're going you're gonna to get jumped over there. What? <laughs> <laughs> then you have chosen to fight, and the door across from you opens, and out walks a massive golden colored statue um, that's um, about 60 feet tall um, just looming over you and um, he just kind of like smashes his fists into his hands um, and with that I'm going to have everybody roll into initiative no 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 he says that 20 for me Wow. You're not the only one in that 20 does is suck a dick. I got 21. <laughs> suck a dick. That's fucked up. That's fucked suck up. Suck a dick. Oh, and oh. you just didn't want to click your character, Coco? Honestly, I did. But I, I honestly forgot. Like, oh, you're good. Oh, no, I didn't. You told me to suck a dick. I'm the only one that remembered to click my character token. Y'all like suck a dick. No reason. That's not, that's not, that's not fair. You're not the is. only one. I clicked mine. Oh. <laughs> Adam with the real misfortune roll. Okay, something I, something about this feels oh, really good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it oh. just feels like Fathom should go last regardless, right? I went for the last one. roll one for Nightshade. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, I got I forgot to give McKaylee control of that. Yeah, you do. Oh, you're there. good. Um, there you go. Nightshade. I'm going to have... Uh, oh, let me do that. I can't control Nightshade, by the way. Uh, it's just the token you can't control, I imagine, because I just dragged out. Why I don't know why we don't have one attached to the thing. Um, but let me. B, can you give her access to the nightshade token? Yeah. And I'm just gonna add him to the. And I got a thirteen. I'm just gonna add him to the order, yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, because Daz just rolled a nat twenty, that's going to beat calm like rain's nat or eighteen. Yeah. Negative two is absurd. Um, <laughs> so, gonna be that, in on that, and then we have Dazzle, and all my grand little. Okay, does everyone see themselves on here? Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Anna, you find yourselves in a massive arena, and this thing stands in front of you, punching his, his hands. What are these little dots? Those are the giant stones I described. Can you describe them again? <laughs> you have for us. For the third time for you, Anna, um, <laughs> massive round stones about five feet in diameter. <laughs> Do they look throwable? I know, that's what my question was. Give it your best lift and let's find out. <laughs> five feet by five feet, so no. All right, I'm going to run. No, no, I didn't, I didn't say by us. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this this got fucked up real real soon. <laughs> what? Oh my god! Oh my! Thirty oh feet away. Okay. Um. So that was my dash, and then, uh, um. Mess. How far can you throw like a hand axe? Y'all know? Um, you should know. 60. Yeah. Javelin, though, is 120. Uh, isn't that a disadvantage? Um, it's not in range even at disadvantage. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, bonus action. I'm just going to get my shield reel out. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Cool. Um, has it like updated for you guys? We're in a move to where you just still seeing the arrows. No, I still see the arrows. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. This guy is going to right. Ooh. Not like that. Not like that. Oh, <laughs> just yo-yoing. Um, yeah, he is going to actually just move here. Um, ignore the way he moved. Um, <laughs> he's going to move here. And um, 
it, it was a random one that's not supposed to be there. I don't know why it is, frankly. <laughs> to answer your question, B. Um, I was like, off the top, you know? <laughs> no, I don't have an answer for you. Um, okay, cool. Um, it is going to um, lift up I knew the rock that is, up a that is next to you, and you are currently, oh, that's brilliant, not out of the the <laughs> and it is no going way. to throw a massive boulder at you. Does it have to? And no. that one. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fuck you. <laughs> you see a throne, just uh, a, a stone just fly through the air and land directly in front of your face and just oh. slam on the ground there. And he goes, That's the sound you hear coming from him. Little bitch. Mako, your turn. As you just saw this thing chunk a stone at Nina. That's a problem. Oh man. Okay. Um. What? What did you say this thing was? Um, it was a, a giant thing. golden colored statue. It looks more like like copper or bronze, but like goldenish in color. But he looks like a statue almost as he's. Charging at you, a statue that moves. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Um. I will just move. Over here. Okay. So tiny. <laughs> and, and the polar bear normally looks huge, but right now he looks <laughs> sad. I know. That's that's it really. Okay. Anything so nothing else? Oh, I will ready a dodge. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, you'll take the dodge action. So disadvantage on any attacks that come against you until your next turn. Okay. I Daz it. Uh, Dazith will, I'm just going to do it, like, I'm just going to show you with the arrows to avoid yep. the weird staggering thing. So, yeah, 30 and then 30. So, I'm going to move to right here and take cover behind that boulder. <laughs> and that will be my turn. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Oh, are you actually going to take, attempt to take cover? Or maybe standing behind it. Is it an extra action or bonus action? No, uh, if you're just standing behind it, no. It, it would be an extra action if you're attempting to hide, but you're not trying to hide. You are just using it for cover, correct? Correct. Cool. Yeah, you have you seem to have full coverage on it, so you'll have the, a boost to your AC. You're already massive AC. Mm -hmm. um, calm Like Rain. Yeah, he's going to, since I have no idea how you played Calm Like Rain, I, this is what he's doing. He's going to turn and give a wink to Fathom, and then and he's going to... <laughs> <laughs> Will doesn't no, flirt like, with me. Calm like rain <laughs> is solid on his first turn. That's where he yeah, really I know. That's <laughs> that's why he's gonna run right there, and he is a hundred and fifty feet away, and okay. so he's gonna, he's gonna take two short bow attacks at disadvantage. Um, oh, yeah. and he gets a third one too, if you would like to. He does on his first turn. On his first turn. Oh my gosh, he's. Oh, see the gong? Oh my god, what? <laughs> the 22 and the 28. Oh, sorry, on disadvantage. Yeah. Um, the 24 hits. Oh. Uh, and he deals an extra 1d8 damage. Yes, he does. Does he have a plus 9? <laughs> yeah, he's he's pretty he's pretty solid. The 18 doesn't. Fathom, get more boyfriends. Um, no, okay, uh, yeah, doing, um, 13 piercing damage, right? Yep. Yeah, an arrow just kind of like hits this thing's um, uh, foot, and and that's what you guys see happen. It hit it though. It definitely hit it. Yeah. Uh, at this point, I th I think he's gonna switch back to his. No, he'll keep it out. He'll keep it out for now. Um, yeah, that's what he's got. That's how I used him his first turn. He's really his first turn is kind of his hero. <laughs> Um, Nightshade. Um. Oh, Ralph was a horse. Found them that it was at disadvantage. Okay, that's. Um. Is an eighteen hit, just so we're all clear on that. Nightshade 
is going to... She can fly 90 feet. So Nightshade is going to fly over here, pick Anna up as an action. Okay. And then go 10 more feet with Anna. Okay. So to here. On top, above the stone? Well, I tried to move it 10 more feet, but yeah, yeah, we're, we're flying. Yeah, above the stone. Yeah, above okay. the stone. Cool. Um, and that's going to be it. Lorel. Yep. Um, so dash is an action, right? Mm hmm. Okay. So I'm going to do 40. Yeah, I'm gonna go right here. Okay. Okay. And this will be my turn. And nice. the Thanks. face is gonna move 30 feet. King shit. You see. All right, that's it. All right, fathom. Uh. I'm gonna bonus action healing word myself at level two. Oh, no, we have. You're gonna bonus action what? Uh, oh, spirit table? Yeah. No, 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 healing word. Oh, healing word? Okay. I need it. Uh, okay. Uh, what is that? Five plus three, eight plus 16, 14. Um, I get 14 health back. Uh, and then I'm going to move my dragon since it's still up and I'm gonna have it start going after the uh the giant thing. Uh so it can move hundred twenty feet away from me. Uh, you wanna just draw it where it is? Uh sure. Okay. Oh, I gotta zoom out. It's really hard. I'm going to say almost like a sour. Not that they described it in the no. Uh It'll be like right there. Cool. And then <laughs> I'm going to run towards the nearest boulder. <laughs> so like I think I can get that far. <laughs> and that's my okay. turn. Anything else? Happen? That's right, my turn. Anna. So I'm within 120 feet, which is nice. Um, I have one javelin left. All right. I'll probably kill him though, right? That's disadvantage. <laughs> uh, the nine will not hit. Uh, <laughs> it makes you feel better. The eighteen also would not have hit. Really? Him. Fuck. Oh, um. Okay. Yeah, you're flying up on a horseback, epic as fuck. You like take a javelin and chunk it's it, really and it goes like half the distance to him and just hits the ground. Yeah, yeah, that's real um unfortunate. Uh, um, yeah, I'm just going to wait for Horsey to fly me closer. Um, but I'm gonna tell Horsey, dodge, horse, dodge. Okay. Anything else? Cool. Um, big dude's turn is going to move to right here. Um, and he's going to pick up a stone and he is going to throw it. Let me see. What do I want to throw it? It just seems like they shouldn't yeah. have put so many stones out here. He's going <laughs> to throw it at the uh, flying horse. Um, Mostly because the dude who hit him in the foot is out of rain. Um, uh, okay, and he is going to do that. Uh, does a 27 hit, hit your horse? Oh. Uh, I'm being silly. I know it does. Um, and that deals... I'm playing with my dice today because I was doing really well with my dice in the other... Uh, for for them. Actually, I was doing really well with my dice for them, not against them, but we're going to use them anyway. You were doing real well against us. <laughs> um, that is 51 bludgeoning damage. Okay. As the rock 
take oh, out your okay. horse. Um, and then you are going to fall 10 feet, taking 1d6 falling damage as your horse, I assume, dies. Is that correct? Damn it! Um, and, <laughs> and then we'll take that as though this rock comes and just pummels into your horse and you just fall to the ground. No, bro. The horse is dead, right? Yeah. Okay. You're being real mean. Um, yeah, and you just find yourself kind of lame prone on top of the rock right now. Um, really and up. then this thing has. So, did a I still bit fall movement. 10 feet even though I fell onto the yeah, rock? Yeah, you're flying above it. Okay. Um, and uh, then this thing is going to take just a little bit more movement to right here. Cool. And he just kind of takes two more steps forwards. Your Matt's his turn. Miss Polar Bear. I am going to here. Here. I'm going to dash. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Mom. Um, that was a quick movement for the polar, but that was good. That's, that's, that's it. <laughs> Just dash. Dazza. Dazza is going to move to right there. Blah. Bam. I think that was right. And then uh, I'm going to use my last spell slot to cast Bless. And I'm going nice. to choose me. Anna and Calm Like Rain will all get a D4 on attack rolls and saving throws. Hell yeah. And that will, that was all my movement, so that will be my turn. Okay. Calm Like Rain. Yeah. He is going to... Uh... Run there. And take two shots at disadvantage. At the thing. So is this a from right there? Oh, actually, maybe not. Uh, 80 feet is the... Oh, oh is it? Well, because it's a short bow, not a long bow. Yeah, no, he's... Five he five, right? Yeah. Oh, you, I don't... Have, you don't have five more feet of movement? Oh, wait, 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 I only moved 30 feet. Oh, he has a speed of 40. Fuck yeah. Oh, he does? Oh, <laughs> I would not be 40 last. Good, good on him. Wait, shout out to Baxi, man. Okay, <laughs> then not there. A yeah, it, it, good. Take two shots, normal shots. At the thing. 26 and 18. Yeah, the 26 will hit. Roll me the damage. Don't forget the D4. Uh, he can roll a d4. Yeah. To 18. Oh, yeah. 20? Uh, the 20 will also hit. However, after the first attack hits, you see its body just kind of, like, 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 tighten up on itself. Um, but ro so roll the damage for the, the second one. 11. Um, the second one, honestly, the, the arrow hits it and just bounces right off, even, um, more so than before. Oh. Okay. Um God, I it's kinda of like he's gonna he's gonna get something where he is, but uh he can't move now, so he's he's gonna, he's gonna start praying. Fair enough. Um okay, uh Lorel. Oh damn, of course he is. Alright, so Lorel is oh my gosh. Uh Lorel is going to move Right here. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Um, bonus action, he's going to change out of his wild state. Okay. And he is going to send a tidal wave right here. Oh. What's the range on tidal wave? 120 feet. Fuck yeah. Nice. Okay. Throw in the chat. Yeah. Let this be the one, man. Let 20 in. 
three. Okay. Is that your last third level spell slot? Yes, it is. Oof. You out there just throwing around level three spell slots in the last one? Hey, man. Got a lot of spells. What? He's got a Are lot you... of spells. That's <laughs> fair. Um, what what does he do? Alright, so he just Oh, right there. Just here, put it in oh, the chat. My, my yeah, in the what chat. does he do? Sorry. My bad. Here. Throw it in the chat real quick. So he makes a deck saving throw? Yes. Um, A 13. No. Cool. Um, yeah, your water just goes right into his leg, and it makes a solid hit on him, but you feel like it didn't do as much as you felt it should. Of course. Um, but yeah, anything else? That's it. Nice. Um, Faye. Faye's just gonna move slowly but surely. <laughs> Wait, wait, right no, 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 no. he's on his way. He's on. <laughs> Anything else? X? No, no, that's it. D does he want to dash or anything? Yeah, dash. Actually, I just thought about that. <laughs> oh right my here. god! It's just—it's sad watching him walk that slow. No, it's, does he it's like really like me? He's a fairy, basically. Uh, anything else, Rem? No, that's it. I fathom. Uh, he's not prone, right? Who? The giant gold statue to the tidal wave. Oh, it's the, yeah. Um, I don't think so. And Normally there's a side on, size on these. Oh, well, it, I guess he's not prone then. Normally it has a size on, like, when not someone's not prone, but I guess... Yeah. I guess he's not prone because he, he failed it with the 13. Yay. <laughs> I'm trying my best, guys. You're contributing. Okay, there's that. Uh, I'm going to move my dragon closer. Uh, where did he not go? Yeah. I'm going to move him. Perfect. That would be great. It won't let me move it. Um, Highlight the whole thing, and then you should be able to. There we go. I'm gonna move it right there to kind of like take up space and uh, get his attention. Because um, until he yeah, can you put major in the chat? By the way, yeah, I believe it's until he makes a passing investigation check, um, he perceives it to be real. Mm -hmm. It's long. I'm sorry. You're good. Does it cause damage or anything? Uh, no, no, no. Major image doesn't cause damage. Um, fantastic. Oh, okay, okay. Does. This is just a big thing that he can see and perceive, but doesn't do anything. Okay, to him. I get you. Cool, cool. Uh, I'm gonna move it there. I'm gonna use a bonus action. Uh, to oop, there we go. Uh, to dash. Um, or an action to dash, and. Yeah, this will be my turn. Okay. Anna? I'm going to jump down from the five-foot boulder, right? Mm -hmm. And move my 40 feet to here. Uh, you have half movement because you're prone. When you fall, you're prone. Ruins everything. I'm sorry. Ruins everything. <laughs> Uh, did you dash last turn, Marshall? Yes. It's an action to move your image. Oh, is it? My bad. I'll move back. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was just making sure I was reading a little bit. Hey, Anna, you stand up. Um, uh, so with this image... 
Um, would I be able to hide behind it, like right in this spot, Marshall? Uh, it's. I mean, yeah, but you also perceive it to be real until you use an action. I think is how that would work, <laughs> unless you just. But I know you cast it. Then yeah, you're probably. No, you don't. You were running around on your horse when he cast it. That's true. It's very fathom flavored okay. though, so I don't. It is very fathom flavored. <laughs> um, what, was, what was the image again? Sorry. Uh, a giant, giant. It's a giant dragon made of bones, wreathed in a ghostly fire. Oh, okay. <laughs> Obviously. So then I'm going to move twenty feet to right there, and use dodge as an action. Okay. Anything else? Nope. He is going to stand up and move towards here. And he is just going to like lean down and just really hit the, the dragon super hard. Um I imagine that makes it disappear. Uh it just he the illusion stays, but he now notices that it's not real. Yeah. He spends his his turn just kind of whacking at the dragon a bunch of times. Nice. Um and yeah, that's that's it for his turn. Um, because he is, was not prone the last turn, took half his goddamn movement. He was gonna yeah. tell uh polar bear. Um, I'm going to turn back into regular Mako. Okay. And cast reduce. Oh. 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 Oh my god, make him little. <laughs> that's so embarrassing for him. Okay, so he makes a con save. Oh no. Yes. He rolled a um, nat twenty and a twenty-five. Oh, he rolled. Oh. And he just looks down at you. Oh. Um, B, can you replace the polar bear with the, yeah. the token? <laughs> Mom, run. Yeah. <laughs> um, anything else, Mako? Yes. Yeah, hang on, I got you. Oh, sorry. sorry. I can also roll it out. Sorry, I didn't mean to. We're moving. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I just moved away from it. Okay. Um, Did you anything else? Move yourself? Yeah, I think so. I. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Alright. Dazith. Uh, Dazith will... Dazith will just dash, and he'll move right here. Okay. And that will be his turn. Okay. Call my brain. Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, Call My Grain is gonna run right here. Take two bow attacks. Oh, man. Plus four. Oh. D4. 19? No. Does not okay. hit. Okay. Uh, and then he's gonna step right here. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, anything else? No, that's it. Larry. <laughs> <Lorel>. <laughs> <laughs> Is he frozen? Because his. <laughs> it, would be, it would be amazing if he could keep his face like that. <laughs> that was awesome. I thought he was doing that out of spite. Um, Lorel. Boo boo, buddy. Ow. Oh my god, he died. Laurel said, "I'm gonna take you guys up on that offer uh, that you had before this, and I'm gonna leave." <laughs> he just walks. He's just like no one notices, but he's at the door, just walking out of it. He was like, "You guys told us this was an option." Um, to be to be fair, Laurel would be the one to be smart and drop out of this. Lorel would definitely be the most will, uh, willing to leave in this situation. He said, I, I'm not here to prove anything. <laughs> so how do you guys think it's going? I'm terrified. Um, have we hit it? 
Uh, caught like rain hit him. Like three times. You should get to and see what he does in melee him. damage. Apparently he's going to one-shot all of us if he throws a rock. You see him staring at the rock in front of him. <laughs> How do we move the rock? I mean, does it? How do we move the rock? I don't think we do. Maybe. And that's what's concerning. For real? I thought I she was do. about to reduce the rock to take away the ammo. Honestly, that's that's smart too, but it was a really good idea to try to reduce him. It was just, yeah, he, he rolled well. Um, Fathom, you want to take your turn and we'll just go Laurel, uh, Laurel can take back when he, if he pops back in. Uh, we can do that. Uh, we got one hit. God. Okay, well, my dragon is, I'm just going to go ahead and drop my dragon because it's clearly not going to work anymore. Um, okay. Oh, oh back? Never, never mind. Freeze. Okay, cool. The dragon can still be dropped, but... <laughs> Christian, you there? Yes, I... I, uh, it is your turn. I know you're, is reloading and everything, but... Alright, yeah. No, my computer decided to die on me with 20% left. <laughs> Wonderful. It so... happened. You know how that goes. It, yeah, um, yeah, that's fair. Um, the last thing that happened was um, Tom like Rain um, missed it with a couple arrows. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so all right, here, here's what we're going to do while it's loading. Um, bonus action. I'm going to expend my last wild shape to the archer. Okay. Haven't, haven't used him in a fat minute. All right. And I am going to look perfect. Right, and I'm going to move. Let's see where at. Oh, oh, damn! We're getting close now. <laughs> it's been a while. We've been moving. All right. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna move right here. Oh, sorry. You're move right here. Okay. And I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt, but I'm going to aim it upwards since it's so tall. Okay. Is that so you can not one Dazith? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I respect so it. I, I appreciate it. it. Well, let's it's see going it. straight in the air. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. 25 hits for sure. I'm happy. Um, yeah, you strike this thing, and as soon as this thing hits it, you you notice it like make contact, and then this thing does again where it just kind of like um almost looks like it hardens, it just kind of like crushes in on itself. Um uh, to kind of seemingly protect itself. All right. Um, let me just check the range real quick. Uh, yep, it reaches it. Well, hopefully. Uh, Ha! Right there. All right, and I'm going to fire an arrow. How are you going to also fire an arrow? So, well, technically the arrow should have went first. because When I change it to the form, I fire an arrow. So technically the arrow should have went first. Okay. Um. Yeah, throw it out there. Is that just like every time you join, you become the archer, you have that? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, it's gonna miss, so All you're right. good. 60 feet, is it? Yeah, 60 feet. Yeah. And okay. boom, right there. That's the turn. Cool. Fathom, you get rid of your dragon. <laughs> yeah, okay, so dragon's gone. Uh, I'm going to move. Oh, sorry, the Fae. Did the Fae want to do something? My bad. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> we're just not gonna let you go, Fathom. That's where we're at. <laughs> uh, 
Let me see if the Faye can dash real quick. Lots of times to plan, though. Yeah, Faye's I like gonna... the Faye rock jumping from behind one rock to the next rock. He, he's making his way up, like, D-Day style. Exactly. All right, there he is. All right. Oh, boy. Fathom, <laughs> now, for sure it is your turn. Uh, okay, I'm going to move... Uh to there and I'm going to use my uh Bardic thing to oh, yeah. uh, give uh Inna the what was it? The Tale of the Phantom. So she becomes invisible until the end of her turn. Oh, yeah. Uh yeah. and if she makes an attack at someone, it's at advantage, and if it hits, uh then it deals an extra like one D eight necrotic damage. She comes invisible to wait. Can you put that in the chat? Yeah. yeah sorry. I Till the uh, end of his Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, end invisible. Um and let's see, that's this is perfect for what I want to do. Uh I'm gonna move the rest is of the movement in there. You don't know though. Okay. And that's my turn. Anything else? Okay. Right. Anna, you are invisible. Anna screams in joy the fact that she's now invisible. <laughs> um and she's going As soon as you scream, it turns exactly oh, no. where you're standing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing this game. <laughs> Fine. Anyway, I'm gonna go 40 feet away from where I scream. Okay. There um, and at advantage, um, actually bonus action rage. Sorry. Okay. Um, at advantage. Ooh. Uh, the second one will hit. Uh, Wait, plus, four, have... plus four. Okay. 21? Yeah. Okay. Uh, ooh, they'll both hit. Cool. Um, uh, so, so the, the first one also gives yeah. an additional 7 necrotic damage. So that is 46 damage. Magical and necrotic. And if it can't be and from... Necrotic? What? 7. Yeah. Uh, 7? Okay. And then 39 magical. Uh, and if hey. it... If it's not immune to oh, frightened, God. it is frightened of Inna. It is not frightened of Inna. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It was a try. Fine. Yeah, we oh, fried Marshall, and that's what I, that's what I That was a good roll. Nicely done. Ter I'm terrified to see this melee attack. Oh, yeah. Inna's going to get squished so fast. Okay. Um, anything else, Anna? No. Um, all of your sh hits hit it. Um, it felt like your axe was just kind of bouncing off of it. Even with a magical axe? Correct. That's okay. nasty. Um, like you feel like you made contact. You feel confident you made contact, but you were like, I'm dealing 20, 19. Like these should be massive and just felt like kind of disappointed. Anything else? Hmm. Okay. Um, he is going to look down at you, Inna, and, um... He can't see me. Yeah, he can't now. You hit him. Oh. Yeah, you're no longer yeah. invisible. Um, he, he looks down at Inna, and he's going to make two just kind of, like, smashes against you. One with his foot, and then his other with his other foot. Okay. Um, so a 23 and a 15. So, the... I have a... 15 AC right now, but I have my tail, so it's not going to hit. Okay. Um, so just the 23. The 23 hits? Yeah. Cool. Um, that is going to deal. Not more than 30. He's rolling a lot. <laughs> uh, 36 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, so 36 if I went to 18. Okay. Dog. I'm still up. Dog. <laughs> Oof. Um, and then, um, after that, no, that's it. That's his, um, this that's his is. turn. Okay. Um, make him. Okay. <laughs> Um, 
I'm sorry, can you sound a little anxious? <laughs> I think I'm going to cast. <sighs> Don't be scared. Do it again. Oh. Oh, it's time. I uh, um. So he makes a wisdom saving throw. Uh, no. What? Why not? Um. It says, uh, unwilling creature makes a wisdom. Oh, are you doing it on yourself or him? I think I'm going to do it on, um, I'm going to do it on myself. I'm going to turn into a giant ape. Okay, so you're just using it basically as another wild shape? Yes. Except she is now, she has all the same stats as a giant ape, like even mental stats. So you just became a giant ape? I just became a giant ape. Okay, and if you, so then it, it but other than that, it works the same where any excess damage carries over and everything else? Okay. Um. Yeah, do we have a giant ape loaded in here? I just found one. I'm trying to... I don't know how to give it to her though. Oh. Maybe. Um, okay, you have you turn to the giant ape. You still have a bonus action and movement, I believe. Um here for now, I'm just gonna give you the polar bear token back up and just use that as your giant ape, if you will. Yeah, I don't know why it's not. And so you have your movement and bonus action if you would like to use it. I don't know how much movement the ape has. Oh, that's true. Um, you can probably just like also the oh. little giant ape by the and pull. Oh, it's stuff. already it's already in here. Sorry, I we already oh, okay. had it. I found it. It's it's that's why it wasn't dra dragging yeah, over probably. Okay. It's it in there. Mako's journal, and it can be edited by Mako. Save changes, and then I'll just move it over to you. I don't know if you can see it now on your. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Sweet. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Um, I don't think we have an ape token, so I think the bear might be our best bet. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And it's huge, which is three by three, I think. Oh, cool. So let oh. me. That is a big boy. There you go. All right. Now you should be able to roll for the ace HP. Oh. Oh, dang. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> that thing's wild. Okay, cool. My God. Um, Is there any limit on the animal you can turn into? It The CR has to be equal to your level or less. So this is a CR 7. This is, like, max. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. You turn into a giant ape? Damn. I needed to hit Michaela, not me. <laughs> <laughs> um... I have 48. Okay. Are you I done? Can't. Yeah, I'm going to be done. Okay. Dazit. Uh, Dazit will move to right here. Do two attacks at advantage uh, against... Ooh. Uh, I'll try a D4 in that first one. Okay. So we got to 20. Um, at the 20, it will hit. Okay, so. Nice. Do I feel like it did anything? Yeah, you feel like you like your hit. I mean, it wasn't the strongest of your hits in, in history, but you feel like the contact was solid. As soon as you do that, it like locks itself in place, um, seemingly to protect itself. That's my turn. Cool. Oh, my grain. Oh, yeah, it's time. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to poke his head out and again send his uh, short bow attacks. 23. The 23 will hit. Woo! It clinks off of him um, in a slightly unsatisfying yeah, way. Yeah, he's going to step back behind his, his boulder. That's fair. That's fair. It's a nice 
Um, anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Lorel. Oh, snap. Oh. Well. Uh. I'm going to be right here. Bonus action. I'm going to fire an arrow the same way, upwards. Okay. Is that... You're allowed to just bonus action an arrow? Yes. I'll throw it in chat. You're good. You just haven't used this one in a minute. It's been a long time. I like the use of your dragon gun now. Um, right, it's not going to hit, but if you want to still throw it in, that'd be awesome. All right. Uh, I will use my last... Guiding bolt. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna, yeah. And I'm casting it through my um, moon sickle, so I'll get a plus one. Oh. Um, a 20 does hit. That's beautiful. That is amazing. Um, your radiant or your guiding bolt goes and slams him in the shoulder, and again, it just kind of glances off. It hits him and just pings right oh, off. I'm it, again, you, you know you hit him. However, it just didn't feel as satisfying as you would have liked it to. That's fine. I've done I've done all I could do. Okay. Uh, hey. And my Faye. Just trying to make sure it doesn't die. Uh, my fable dash right here, and let me check its movement real quick. Oh, okay. Uh, no, that's all I can do. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Fathom. Uh. Also, you guys, good on y'all for just doing this fight in the middle of the arena. I'm sure the audience is very appreciative. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we did it. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to roll my last Bardic Inspiration for my table. Four and okay. eight. What does an eight do? Uh, oh, it's another uh, Tale of the Phantom. Perfect. Um... Okay, I'm going to hold on to that for now, um, and I'm going to go ahead and cast Vicious Mockery at it. Okay. So I'm going to call him um, Dole. It's a wisdom save, right? Uh, I, th I think it's actually an intelligence. Let me double check on that. Come on, mouse, work. Yeah, it's a wisdom save. Okay. Um, a nine. He'll fail it. So he takes four psychic damage, and he has disadvantage on his next attack. Um, you notice he takes, like, he doesn't even register that you've done anything at all. I love statues, man. I love being a primarily psychic <laughs> damage spellcaster and fighting statues. It's a lot of fun. Um, he still does. He still get uh, disadvantage because he failed. No. He's no. unaware that anything is to him. What? Okay. No. That's dumb. Okay. That's it. I Yeah, I'm so sorry, Anna. Um Slashy Slashy Boom Boom. Obviously it's gonna be slashy slashy boom boom at advantage. Cool. We'll see it. And then after that I'm going to put my shield in front of my face as my bonus action. So twenty five and a twenty two. Um to put your you have to put your axe away to do that. You know, it's a two-handed axe. Yeah. So bonus action. I just saying that. So yeah. if he moved away, you would not get an attack of opportunity on him. You don't have a weapon drawn. Is the reason I say that. Probably not gonna move away, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. No, that's fine. Both of these hit yeah. though. Yeah. 
Um, so it'll be for 16, 17, so 33 damage. Um, yeah, you hit them and they just kind of bounce off them in a way that's unsatisfying. Yeah. But you hit them. You got good contact. I mean, I feel like he's not not resistant to regular bludgeoning damage either, so. There is some magical bludgeoning, slashing, piercing. Psychic. Psychic. He actually oh. has no inherent damage resistance, so I don't know what you guys are referencing. Anywho, oh. anything else? Is he immune? I don't know what to tell you. Anything else? Um, I got I'm in their head though now, Brendan, you see. <laughs> I, I think I got it, but... I, I don't got it. Um... <laughs> No. Oh, I'm going to TL. Someone heal me. Cool. Um, <laughs> he is going to um, first um, stomp on Inna and then turn and just whack at um, at, at Dazith. So stomp on Inna, uh, nat 20. So for a 30, oh. if anyone's curious. Um, oh. And on Dazith, um, a 30. Yeah, that'll oh. be So on Inna... We have to be careful here, don't we? Um, don't we? And uh, you will take. <laughs> He's just rolling so many things. They're d12s, like it's like eight, eight d12. Seventy one. Um, more than 71 is what you don't want to do. You take 75 bludgeoning damage. What is your current HP? 12, but I take half of it. Oh. Half? Yeah. Okay. okay. Right about that. You would have killed me outright, though, if I was that, is that Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Sorry for the oh, scare. I, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah. If it wasn't a nat 20, it wouldn't have been close. But now against Staz, if you oh, would oh, take. I'm just down. Though. Yeah, you're down. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it almost killed me out right there, Boo Boo. I weighed, or I rolled terrible against Dazif. He takes only 23 bludgeon. Oh, only. It's so low. And how much did you take for me? 70 something? 75. Uh, he dealt 75 damage to you just by stepping on you. But he, like, full foot. So you guys, what you guys witness is him just take a foot down and just stomp it on, um, uh, in his head. If you're wondering, I rolled like three twelves during my eight forty twelves. It was Ugh. insane. Uh, he just stomps down on Inna and lifts his foot up, and you just see Inna's body there, looking lifeless, crumpled to the ground. And then he just turns and just whacks Dazith really hard as well, just kind of for good measure. Um, but Mako, you are a giant ape. Yeah. Um... Straight up to the giant backs. <laughs> Who said that giant <laughs> monster is throwing stones? But up close, was That's he gonna less... stones or less stones? <laughs> Uh, hold on, hold on. Can I, what does climbing this thing look like? Um, you can definitely attempt to climb this thing. What's your movement? Um, it's 40? just 40. Yeah, so I can, I can just get there. For um, me. yeah, if you want to attempt to climb him, I'll just have us make a, a opposing strength checks is what I kind of figure. Unless B, you have a different idea on it. That makes sense. I roll. Um, Strength check of the ape. That'd be crazy. Is that what you're trying to do? Are you trying to climb them? Yeah. Is that going to be my like action? Um. No. No. Let's say uh, you have climbing speed. I'm pretty sure it's an ape, right? Yes. Yeah. So no, it's not an action. You just can climb inherently, but he is going to no. try to stop oh, you. Uh, no, that's not fair. <laughs> he rolled a nat twenty. Why do you keep rolling that 20? My reindeer dice rock today. My little Rudolph <laughs> one. Um, but you're nothing happens to you like mechanistically, you just weren't able to climb okay. him this turn. Well then I'm just gonna multi-attack with my fist. Heck yeah. <laughs> Throw some fist attacks at him. Um oh my god. god. Yeah, the 22 does hit. That's a lot of nat ones on that your is, second roll. Like, um, it's it's really frustrating. Um, as yeah, roll your damage for the 22, and then he's going to, um, kind of you know, crunch himself up and harden himself. Oh. Holy fucking shit, it does. what? Yes, it does. Yeah, that. oh, yeah, oh, shit. Um, you, you see this ape just like 
punch this guy in the lower back, and he, like, crumples before he kind of hardens himself. But, yeah, you get a solid hit into this thing, Mako. Anything else? I'm just going to support Maul. That's all. <laughs> Y'all take a step back. Yeah, Long has this. this for now. Okay. Dazzeth. Dazzeth. You just took a whack. A pretty big whack. Your friend's and dead. Dazzeth will call out, guys, only the first attack hits. And then he'll uh, move to try to so that the giant ape gets advantage because I like that damage hitting more. And then he'll just use his channel divinity sacred weapon as his action to give him a plus one to uh, his attack rolls. His weapon's already magical, but that helps. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. I CLR. Let's go. All right. Uh, uh, it's going to dash to be right here and chill with his buddy, the Fae. Uh, yeah. oh, bonus, action, bonus action, he'll switch to his uh, sword. Oh, sweet. Okay. Um, anything else? Uh, no, that's what he's got. Lorel. Oh. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let that arrow... Actually, no. I'll be smart about this. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to let that arrow fly. Okay. Let's see it. Hey, a 20 hits. Um... And again, this one again hits it and kind of just glances off of it. All right. Um, but see, what else can I do? I really can't do much. Because everything is concentration. What are you concentrating on right now, the Faye? Yeah, and I'll be damned if I go up there. <laughs> not fair. You know, fair. That's not, that, that's not your job, right? No, it's not. It's not. And I'm glad, you know. My friends understand that. Um, and you know what? That's his turn. Whoa, actually, hold on, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, that's his turn. Um, Fathom, oh, you, oh, as you're kind of watching, oh, oh, Faye, Faye. sorry. Hi. Faye is going to support Mako right here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and is he gonna do a little like break attack? Yeah. <laughs> and gonna, gonna make an attack. Uh oh, I never um I never picked my phase um thing. It's gonna be mm -hmm. it's gonna be fuming. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> Did it help you? Dude. No, it doesn't. Oh, what? <laughs> That's really bad. That's just disgusting. All right. He wasn't ready. That's it. No, he wasn't. He, he only had, like, a half a minute to get over here and get ready. Um, Fathom, as you're kind of sitting back watching everything that's happening, the crowd is going, like, in waves of cheering for you guys, cheering as this happened. When Mako turned into an ape, they lost their shit. When Mako punched this thing, there's, like, people are, like, like, the crowd is going wild having this great time, and they are cheering heavily for you guys, and it's very clear the crowd's backing you. Do they want to give us any, like, magical powers to use? Can they do that? Because I would like I'm that. throw you guys a chair, right? Some healing weapon. <laughs> like a, a foldy chair from the audience. I'm running out of juice, <laughs> so it needs to happen quickly. I have a backup plan, <laughs> just in case, but we don't need it yet. Um, I am going to... Bonus action, uh, heal Inna for a level three healing word. That's my I, idea. Uh, I do want spells, Fathom. Uh, I have a ton of level ones. I'm almost out of everything above that. That makes sense. That's fair. Uh, there's my D8 for that extra. You know, the D6. Are you asking for this? No. How many rages do you have? One more. You have four now? Yeah. Nice. I almost have five. Ooh, not my next level. So 13, 13, 17. Level 20. 17? Yeah, 17. Right, 17. Uh, health oh, shit. Enough. I'm alive. 
Uh, and I'm going to use my action uh, to give Dazith my uh, bardic thing and make him invisible. Cool. Dazith, do you willingly go invisible? No. Okay. Okay. He gets to choose, right? Uh, this one? I'm not certain. I'm I'm assuming he doesn't want to lose the advantage for the ape. Is I assume what's happening right now. Oh, and if um, he goes invisible, he does lose that. Uh, I forgot that's how that worked. Um, can I change the target or can I? Change no, it? not after you've used it. Does he get to turn it down? Uh, it doesn't say. It says on the uh, runaway. The target can immediately use its reaction, but on the phantom, it just says the target becomes invisible. Um, because I oh then no oh, yeah you just turned him invisible then if that's what it said. Mm. As if you go invisible. All right. Until you make an an action or the end of your turn. Um, anything else, Fathom? Um, that's gonna be my turn. Anna, you are prone but alive. Anna wakes up. Look at this man's. Um, do our hits look like they've been doing any damage for when you've been saying they don't do as damage as much damage as you had hoped? Um, give me an insight check. Oof. Um, yeah, you have no idea. Honestly, it doesn't look like it. This thing is a giant metal statue that is just continuously just swung at you guys and shit. Seemingly unaffected by what you were doing besides when, uh, he, he did react when, uh, when Mako punched him in the lower back. But who wouldn't? Cool. Um, you had your shield up before, so I don't think you'd be rage, able to rage and change weapons, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah, I wasn't sure how it resets when well, you're... It's what you have. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, I'll just switch to... Um... So, just... What is, what's uh, the difference in your attack from rage and not rage? Um, Just a plus two. So, you have then a 16 and a... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to rage, though, instead of taking an attack. Oh, So, okay. I will do a dodge um, instead of attack. Gotcha. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So you yep. pull out your axe, rage, and then do a dodge. Or no, no, you just you rage. So I you rage. rage with your shield up. Yeah, and then take a dodge action. Yep. Cool. Disadvantage on attacks against you. Yes. Um. Okay. Cool. Anything else? That's it. Okay. Um, dude is gonna turn around and hit the giant ape twice. I feel like that's that's understandable. Um. A uh, twenty-eight and a twenty-two. Yes. Okay. And the first one is going to be um, the first one's for forty-seven uh, blood pain damage. The second one. The second one is for 37 bludgeoning damage. One thing you can do on here is just write minus. It doesn't work every time. Hmm. Really? Can I try and try it again? If it's done? Um, yeah, that is his turn, and definitely let's do opposing strength checks again. Okay, 15 versus his. He rolled an 18. Okay, well, let's fist it up. It up. Um, the twenty-seven definitely hits. Damn. Yeah, you again. You get a solid punch on it. Not anywhere near as solid as last time. As soon as you land this punch, it kind of crushes itself up against itself and and seems to harden himself. That's it. Okay. Dazif, you are invisible. Oh, sorry, that would have been a 20, but that doesn't change anything. You did not have advantage there, but it still hits, so you're good. I forgot Dazith was invisible. Yeah. Um, 
I guess I'll I'll attack. Cool. Yeah, so you'll have advantage on this attack. Um, yeah, the 22 hits, and then you also get, I believe, a D8 of necrotic damage. Is that minimum? Yeah, I think it is. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, it uh, is. Eight necrotic damage. Cool. Yeah, you, you basically, like, show up, um, but this thing is turned completely around, so you were, like, super excited for your element of surprise, and you kind of just, like, hit him with your, your longsword. Again, you made contact, but just kind of glanced off in a way that you felt like it should have hit harder. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Anything else, Dazza? Nope, that's it. CLR. Uh, yeah. He was gonna come over and save in a... But now, he's just gonna join in on the party, I guess. Nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, two attacks. 20 and 27? Yeah, both hit. Um, and same thing I've been telling everyone else. You hit them, but they just kind of glance off in a way you're not. Wait, you can call them up brains? Yeah. Damn. Really thought it was going to be different. All right. That's it. Yeah, cat, cat damage does do all of it. Um, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Morel. Um, when call my brains comes out, you hear a cheer from the audience, and some people are, uh, you hear one person yell out, Yes, he's so fucking hot! From the crowd. <laughs> Oh. 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 Damn, I don't even know. Oh. Got plenty of ones. Uh, how far is mm -hmm. mm. not this time? I'm gonna uh shoot an arrow. Okay. Right here. Uh. Oh god, what are you guys doing um, rolling the damage? Basically? Yeah, the, 20, the 22 does hit um same same effect that you've been seeing before. Uh, uh, I'm high behind um, the thing. When you throw that out, you hear uh once it hits him, you hear someone from the crowd go, Yeah, light him up, Starboy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything uh, else? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hey. to hide. He, oh, you are? Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Take a, uh, roll me a stealth check. All right. Cool. You feel pretty well hidden. Okay. Good. Um, yeah, my fae. Huh. My fae is going to face the right there and take an attack okay yeah, can you just face up anytime this wants i thought that was like one of the specific ones you have to choose so if face steps and then the um the uh action happens i thought the face step was one of this other like you choose your like fey bonus action when he comes out things is that not no, it says the Fae magically teleports up to 30 feet. Then one of the following effects occurs based on the Fae's move. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So then it has the, um, it has advantage, correct? Right. Um, 18 does not hit. Ugh. Well, he's not doing nothing. Okay. <laughs> uh, Fathom. Uh... I'm gonna use my very last level three healing word on Mako. Okay. Uh, six. Oh, not not great at all. That is three, four, five, nine, twelve. Eight. So you get twelve health back. Um. Right, you got twelve back, Mako. 
Sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I can't do much more because spells are hard to come by. Uh, as, a, <laughs> as an action, I'm going to cast Dancing Lights and put it in the thing's face. Cool. We throw that in the chat. Does anything happen? No, it just creates <laughs> light, but I'm going to try and convince them. I'm going like to try it. and convince all four to maybe try and distract him, blind him. I don't know. Fair Is enough. It? I like I like the attempt a lot. Um, I, I think that's my turn. Anna, you're up. You're raged. I have a question. If I try to... No. Um... If I try to, like, um, take down a creature, like, um, get it prone, does that count as an attack? You can't um, attempt to... Or you can't successfully grapple someone more than two sizes heavier or, or larger oh, okay. than you, I believe, okay. is a rule. And this thing is um, gigantic. It's four by four. Yeah. Okay. Is that right? That's right. You can't like grapple something yeah. to, uh, more like more than a size above you. Yeah. I mean, I think we're regardless. We, that, okay. like, she can most grapple on humans. You can't quite get your arms around his leg. Okay. No. So. no. <laughs> um. Okay. Like I think he, I said he was sixty feet tall, maybe almost seventy. Yeah. Uh, twenty hits. Thirteen does not. Okay. Um, and the one d four won't do anything. So I'm also going to do a charge on top of that. So can I have a con save? Uh, yeah. Does it need? Can, can it need to bleed? The creature. It's necrotic damage. Yeah, but doesn't it need to bleed? It doesn't say it needs to bleed. Yeah, but it says it bleed it causes it to bleed profusely. This thing can't bleed. Well, you, I mean, you have the charge back, but I would argue it's magical and could potentially cause I, it to bleed. Well, yeah, but I think like the whole point is that it. it Please, this thing has no blood in any capacity. What's on the inside of it? Nothing. It's it's more bronze. Maybe it like well, corrodes. Um, it takes necrotic damage. Is it immune to necrotic damage? Necrotic damage is dead damage anyway. Like bleeding. Okay, I I will make him make the save. You're gonna be upset when I roll it, regardless. But <laughs> uh, seventeen. Yeah, I don't. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I had to. I love it. We need small victories, William. I know. I'm sorry. I just don't think he can bleed. It's just, but if oh. you can, if you can. Do it, it's fine. Um, <laughs> anything else, Anna? Um. No, because I used my bonus action to get my weapon out already. Okay. Um. This guy is going to kind of look around him and. You know, Survey the field um, and see what's up before he hits at the uh, the, the giant ape twice because you know giant ape really just it's the right thing to do. Um, a nineteen and a thirty-two. Oh, a thirty-two? Why did you oh. even ask? Giant ape. Yeah, it's twelve. It's twelve. <laughs> okay, the first one. It's gone. Um, oh my god, that's terrible. The first one, 20 damage. Oh no. Um, the second one... Um, 35 damage on the second one. That was disgustingly low, the first one. That's, no, no, no. So you just type, you type in 44 again. Here, like, just uh, leave it like that, and then do this, and just type minus 35... And then he is going to um, move to right here. Um, and everyone can take an attack of opportunity if they would like to. I would. But he's going to move to right here. Yeah, little. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and he seems to be looking around Lorel confused. Like, he seems like he knew there was someone over here in the past. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Okay. Um, the fist will hit. What about Dazith and... I didn't see Dazith. Where is Dazith? And um, our little NPC. They haven't rolled yet. No, I know about Oh, okay. Oh, two roll. Um, uh, Dazith, uh, 22 does hit. And then Anna, did you roll? Yeah, I did. Oh, the 14 does not hit. Um, and then Bay and Calm Like Rain. Oh, um, yeah. Um, Calm Like Rain's at advantage. Bay's is not. Um, oh, Calm Like Rain, nicely done. Let's go. Oh, God. Um, That's my and so <laughs> that's not going to be as satisfying as you want. And the Fae barely misses. That was his moment for the Fae, <laughs> that close. And now this dude is seem over at the stone, looking around, seemingly confused about where the star boy went. Um, Does he say where's the star boy? No, he doesn't say anything. He hasn't said anything at this point. He just kind of gruffed a few times. Um, giant ape. Oh, close. Um, I'm going to come over. What is your ruling on whether or not I can pick up these bowls, these boulders? She's a giant ape. Hey, you're a giant ape, but this is a huge rock. Um. Give me a strength check. Let's find out. Um, anytime you pick up a rock, it's just going to be a strength check. Have a, a, a number in mind. Not quite. That's yeah. It's a huge rock, it, but you don't waste any time doing it. You pick it up. It, it's these rocks are massive. Like it's like most of your size. Um, however, again, on another one, if you want, you can use your action attempting to pick it up one more time. But if you fail, you don't have an action this turn. If you think that's fair. Yeah, you can just spend fine. your action trying to pick it up. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Yep, let's see it. Yeah, cool. definitely you pick nice. it up the second time. Can I throw it? Um, what's your like do you have multi like multiple actions or what's the He has a a uh, throw bolt attack. attack. But um in... if it was my second action to pick it up, so I'm just gonna hold it throughout yeah, this. You just have it on your shoulders right now. Okay. That's, That's awesome, though. I like that. All right. Anything else? No. Okay. Dazith. All right. Dazith will... Um, also, Mako, sorry, just real quick. Now that you're basically the way I, I wanted to phrase it was that, like, the um, at this point, now you understand how to pick these stones up. You basically spent your turn learning, so now you're going to be able to pick them up free action. Okay. Cool. Thanks. It's like a different weight and size than your ape self had ever picked up before is the logic. <clears throat> Okay, would I get advantage from Laurel right now? No, because Laurel is not five feet from him. He's ten, oh, and gotcha, gotcha. he doesn't think Laurel's there. Okay, I will get a plus one to all of these. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Both of those hit, and um, the crowd goes wild for you, uh, Dazith. They're like, Tomorrow's fucking arrow! Um, <laughs> as both of these, uh, they, they both hit him, but no, just not, not... The first one, actually, you get a solid, really good hit on him. The second one, it does what it's been doing. Remember that plus one to uh, damage. Plus one to damage on each of them? Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, it's that. a hit, I believe. I thought you did, yeah, I thought it was oh, just a hit. Thought, okay, sorry. I'll throw it back in. Are you sure? To attack rolls made yeah. with that weapon. I have a okay. spell that's similar. I have a, If I had used that spell, there's a spell I have that's plus okay. one to hit and damage. No, no, I know what you're talking about. I thought you used the other one, sorry. But nice, nicely done, Dazith. Anything else? Uh, no, that is all. All right, calm like rain. All right. Um. He doesn't love running up to this thing now that the giant ape isn't there, so he's going to bonus action uh, switch back to his bow Respect. and take a couple pot shots from behind this rock. Respect. Uh, 23 hits. All right. Well, he's consistently hitting once, so you got that. Hey, you know, he's dealing damage. Probably, right? It yeah. glances off of him, as everything does. All right. That's what, he, that's what he's got. Lorel, you currently feel hidden, but you can also feel this thing's presence behind the stone. Um... <laughs> Wow. Um. Fuck it. Laurel is going to. Ooh. 
move like this. And dash. Um, did you dash past him? No, I made an L. Oh, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, you, you, you just get the fuck out of there. Uh, he does yeah. see you once you start dashing, and he looks like the look of surprise on his face was like just very clear, and uh, he was just like. But yes, anything else? Uh, no. <laughs> hey. There we go. Nice. <laughs> I fathom. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> level one healing word on Inna. On me? Yeah. For seven plus three, ten health. Okay. Uh, and as an action, I'm going to reach into the bag of holding and pull out the necklace of fireballs. Okay. Hey. Okay. The necklace of fireballs. Gotcha. Anything else? Uh, that's all I can do. I Anna. Uh, okay. Whoa. Bonus action. I'd like to put away my um, weapon and take out my fifty feet of rope. Okay. And. I would like to spend all of my movement and my action tying rope, or not tying, but getting the rope around its ankles. Um, so bonus action to change into it, and you're going to attempt to, do you have the movement to do that? If I dash, I do. You can't do both. Okay. Dash is an action. Okay. But you have a rope out. I like where you're going with it. As an action, I'd like to attempt to lasso its head. Um, you can spend your action tying a lasso and getting it going, if you would like to. You don't have your rope tied as a lasso already. As an action, I would like to toss, like, so get, like, a U-shape of the thing and attempt to toss it over its neck. So I'm not tying something. So, conceptually, you know how... Unlikely it is you'd be able to throw a rope you shaped 60 feet over it and land it on its neck. Like, just from the side of it as is. Um, give me a survival check. Well, you put it like that, it sounds crazy. Have you ever <laughs> tried to throw a rope? It's not an easy task. That's why lassos exist. <laughs> 19. Damn, that's pretty good. Okay. You get a rope uh, slightly oh, over his head. Set. Cool. I'm, I'm just going to hold on to it. Okay. Um, it's his turn. Um, he is going to grab the rope and um, swing it around his head a bunch of times. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What? And then he is going to um, throw you at um, Loretta. So, this is how it's going to work. Um, <laughs> I have a strength check for you. And uh, it's an advantage. Yeah. Why? I'm raging. Oh. Yeah, she does get a plus yeah. one for being within hey, 10 feet of me bro. and a D4. What's that? I she also gets. Oh, she yeah, you just... feel yourself very strongly held onto the rope. <laughs> and he throws you straight at Laurel. And mm. let's see. Let's see if it hits Laurel. A nat 20? Why do you keep rolling nat 20s? Is that no. not I don't see this. So this is how we're gonna do it. Um, you're gonna take two d10 falling damage or two d6 falling damage because he oh 60 feet. Wait, you're gonna take 66 Not falling, falling damage. 60 feet. You're being thrown 60 feet. Okay, would you like? Wouldn't that be more damage then? I'm gonna argue with that argument. <laughs> That's worse damage than if he. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you throw you, then you will take um. The same damage. I can just give you the same damage I was gonna give uh, Laurel, which is about the same conceptually. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. That twenty on both of them. At this at all. Um. So what it's gonna be is, but if he throws the rock, it's four d twelve plus nine because he threw Inna. I was gonna do two d twelve. Um. Was my logic on it for that? Um, plus the nine, and then, but it will be double. 
What, Laurel? Why? Why would you need to see this? What? You keep asking if you're seeing this. I, I don't. I don't. Never mind. Like your character, your character definitely sees Anna being flown through the air at you. Yeah. All right. Anna just yeah. let go as he grabs the rope. Is that not? No, Anna specifically said she stayed on with that twenty-three save too. She really is holding on tight. That's what the That's strength. Crazy. is. I'm ready. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Um, okay. Right. So Anna goes flying through the air at Laurel. The crowd goes um, wild. Lorel, the crowd does go wild a little bit, and then they're like. Ooh. Laurel, you are going to take 24 bludgeoning damage. Anna, oh, sorry, um, not 20, um, plus, plus six more, so 30 bludgeoning damage. Um, Anna, you are going to take... Um, 41 bludgeoning damage. Hmm. I rolled really high against Kara. That seems, it seems on purpose, <laughs> for it, right? <laughs> Seems that way. And um, after he throws Inna over there against Lorel, he's going to raise his arms up like this. <laughs> Giant ape, you have a rock on your shoulder. Oh my, oh. Oh my god. Um, Dazith, tell me if you can. Oh. Oh. Vita 2. That's your thing. Vita 2. <laughs> that's fucked up, y'all. That was, that's fucked up. Yeah, you throw the rock and it lands right behind Dazus. Like Dazus, you feel a rock just slam directly behind you. Oh. Sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna start charging it. I'm gonna go over there and charge it, and that's it for right now. Dazith, you, uh, I think Tamora might have just saved you on that one. She did? <laughs> um, did you say that was it, Mako? Yes. Okay. Um, but yeah, again, it's a free action to grab the stones now. So, um, Dazith, you have a rock just landed directly behind you. You just saw Inna get thrown against Laurel. A lot has happened. Yeah, that's what, yell, that's what we yell out. Only the first attack hits, so we need to... Heavy hitter get the first hit, and he Dazith will only move here. Okay. Um. Cool. Calm like rain. Calm like rain's gonna say me. I'm just kidding. He's not gonna. And his next is that calm like rain. <laughs> and he will move. Uh, he'll dash to here. He's fucking quick. Okay. Uh, well, right there. Sorry. There you go. Okay. Um, Laurel, you are prone currently because somebody just hit you with a person. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Let's see. All right, Laurel is going to get up. Um, as a bonus action, he is going to cast Healing Word on himself through his uh through the moon sickle, yeah. or not lie or whatever the yeah the sickle. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, healing Word at level one. Correction, he is not going to do that. He is going to cast this. And the Fae is going to disappear. R.I.P. the Fae, he was doing a lot. He was doing jack shit. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, and so... Um, okay. Um, any creature, um, if it fits. So it's a dex th saving throw? Uh, yes. Well, man's is not the most dexterous, but a 17. Fuck, and it beats a six. Ah, yeah. It doesn't have a plus to it. I just, I, I rolled well. Not even with my reindeer dice, my other one. 
Yes. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. That's fine. Uh, that's it. And he's gonna move right there. All right. Faye is gone. Um, fathom. Uh, I'm gonna uh, bonus action healing word only for at level okay. one. Okay. I'll take it. Four. Uh, okay. A four plus six plus three. Thirteen. Ooh, nice. that's nice. Thank that's God really nice. for this, like, uh, extra d6 from my liar, because that literally saves level he one healing words. Um, as an action, I'm going to pluck a bead off of the fireball necklace, and I'm going to chuck it uh, about right here, so it doesn't hit Calm Like Rain or Dazzit. Um, put a point on the map where you throw it. Uh, it's like... Right here, I think it was. It, it's kind of hard to, because I'd have to switch back and forth. It's like right here. The goal is to not hit uh, Dazith and Calm Like Rain, and it has a 20 foot radius, so it's kind of hard. Um, or it's actually a little closer, like here. I mean, just put it down here, and you wouldn't have to worry about it hitting you or them, right? Yes. Um, we put the attack in the chat. Uh, I need or a. Uh, I'm looking at the uh, Necklace of Fireballs thing. I need a DC 15, uh, I believe, Fireball is Dex save. Okay. Um, yeah, if you wanted to pull it up. And so these, and it is only, it's a 20 foot radius, you said? Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, Dex save. He rolled um, an 11, but he is going to choose to pass it. Okay. So he oh. takes half of whatever this is going to be. Cool. Uh, Okay, so six plus six is twelve plus uh ten, fifteen. He takes twenty-seven fire damage. Is that after halving it? Uh halved, sorry. Uh so what is that? Fourteen if you round up. So you dealt forty four um uh, you dealt twenty-seven, but he dodged it. Yes. Isn't it rounding down or does fireball say rounding up? Is um, that the one spell that's rounding up? Otherwise, uh, it doesn't say. I thought for damage it's, it's always rounded down unless okay. it otherwise stated. Okay. Um, but yeah, so you throw this and it, um, he dodges it and this thing explodes on him. And as soon as he takes that damage, you guys see him just kind of close in and lock himself up a little bit. And what I'm saying, is, I just want to be clear. It's like he basically just kind of like puts his arms in and it kind of like like goes like clink. Um, and you guys have still hit him after that. However, it just has been disappointing overall, your hits after it. Um, but anything else, Fathom? Solid hit. Uh, that's it. Cool. Will you mark somewhere that you've used one of the fireballs or to take one off? Yes. All right. Um, Anna, you are prone. Um, half my movement to stand up. And then I'm going to... To keep my rage, throw a hand axe. It's max damage. It actually be twelve slashing. It doesn't even hit. No hit. No. Okay. Um. Oh, that that will hit. Okay. Oh. So um, it'll be plus two to that too because I'm raging. So nine. Cool. Yeah, you. This one. It slams into his shoulder, bounces off a little bit. But it hit him. A solid hit. And then I'm going to move right here. Ow. Was that after me? Damn. Yeah, I forgot you have 40. Feet. I forget you have 40. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Um, this thing is gonna pick up a rock and throw it at Fathom. Oh no. Oh. Um it's gonna yeah, hit. Uh, Fathom, he he hits you. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. And Fathom, you are going to take um, 51 bludgeoning damage. I am down. And the stone will fly here um, as it slams into you. And then he will turn and look at the two people that have walked up um, behind him. Um, and with that, uh, giant ape. 
Okay, so I'm going to leap off of this boulder onto its back. And I'm going to take advantage because its back is turned to me and it's not expecting it. Definitely. I love it. <laughs> so what, what check do you want me to make? Me a strength check. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're on his back. I'm not going to roll a strength thing for him. Okay, we're going to do some fist action here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, fist him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, 28 hits. 28. And I know you'll be shocked by it after the first one hits, he is going to kind of scrunch up a little bit. Um, but yes, the 21 will also hit afterwards. Cool. Yep. Yeah, solid punches on him and you are currently on his neck. Yeah, and I'm like holding on. So I'm gonna punch and then I'm gonna hold on to his face so he like can't see shit. Like full on all over, full ape on his face. So he shouldn't be able to that should be super distracting, is all I'm trying to get at. Okay. Anything okay. else? That's it. Okay. That's it. All right. That's just say, all right, guys, I'm gonna test something. If I die. Well, I should have thought of less words. And he's going to move over here to start. Oh, yeah. A hundred percent going to take an attack on you. Even though he's locked up? Or does he he comes out of that? What? He comes out of being locked up to do that? Uh, It's not. Oh, shit. You're right. Yeah, never mind. You're right. He's going to stay locked up. Well done. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, and then he's going to start. Uh. No, that was a, that was a solid scientific study. That's actually that's smart. And then <sighs> he's gonna move. Dash. He's arrested his movement to move right. I need to switch back to select. Move right. Here, trying to get closer to fathom. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Okay. Um, calm like rain. Yeah. You better go save your boy. Yeah, okay. that, was the, that was the plan. Uh, he's going to see that the giant ape has this covered. <laughs> uh, and he's going to dash. Cause that's Yeah, he's just going to dash over here and cradle Fathom's head in his hands. That's it's all he's got Aww. to do right now. Hey, Morel. Mm. You see a giant ape climbed on top of this thing, um, flailing around, slamming on it. You see everyone else sprinting towards Fathom's body. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to try it one more time. And it's not going to be a 16. Um, oh, yeah, he makes a, what is it, a con save? Uh, no, dex save. Dex save. Um, he rolled a four, but he is going to choose to pass it. Okay. I'm, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry on that one. Or since it's a dex save, he had, that's a move to do it. Does he come out of his lockup to... No, that's not how dex saves work. Yeah. All um, right. no. You, you had yeah, said it um, before with the oh, oh, fled Colby. I'm like describing that just kind of conceptualize that something's happening. He's not like in a little ball. He's more just kind of like tightened up a little bit. Gotcha. Oh, like Harden on, you know, Pokemon. I feel you. Yeah, pretty yeah. much exactly that. Yeah, that's pretty identical to what it is. I, I've used the term Harden a couple times just to throw that out there in case someone got that he was doing like the, the little yeah. I got show. it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, since he's choosing to pass it, I'm uh Choose to move my happy ass over here. Respect. And that's what I'm going to do. Adam, will you roll just to Brendan and I? Can I use my just dice and let you guys know? Um, mm, oh. no. Thank you. Uh, I use you, the reaction. You can. Oh, yeah, you can do it and let us know. Yeah, I sorry. Uh, I just is it, you. It's slash GM. Uh, slash GR. 1D20. Or if you want to message us, you can do slash GM. Yeah, and I'm going to use a reaction to help him. 
What? <laughs> Every, everyone in his face was like, what? <laughs> Cosmic Omen. I'm going to make some more rules up. Oh, oh okay. okay. And a death save is a saving throw, correct? Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. I, so, like, I get advantage. You get no, a deep that works. Uh, I roll a 1d6. And that's what you add to your roll. Okay. I, what okay. did you roll, Fathom, if you want to just tell B and I? Um, uh, Anna, you're... Oh, sorry, what, Fathom? Sorry, I'm doing math. Cool. Okay. Um, do I have advantage on attacks because of Mako's distractions? Um, you should because of Fairy Fire. He chose to Fairy Fire. Oh, um, okay. additional, oh, like, additional things I don't think you would know until you make the attack, but... Probably not. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make the attack either way. Yeah. I just no, you, you don't. That's one of those things. Like, yeah, it's not like it's obvious where he's like across from you, but no. Um, but you don't need them. Those will hit. Damn. Yeah, but do they do any damage? Both hit them and they bounce off them the way everything else has. Um, and I'm going to go over here afterwards. Okay. I like everyone's all of a sudden running away from this thing. Well, it seems like one person. Um, he is going to, um, make a slam attack against Mako. Um, uh, Mako. Can you describe this slam attack? <laughs> yeah, this he just is? grabs you off his face and just pushes you against his head like that. It's fucked up. Okay. Um, but he, <laughs> uh, 26, um. Yes, it's. And you are going to take. Wouldn't it be a strength check to see if he could even pick her up? off his face first, though? Because she's hanging on really heavily. He can just push her against the face, too. Okay. If that's, the, if you, that's it, more... Yeah, like a just, headbutt? We're gonna play... Th this thing, your, your guy is huge. This thing is also much it's even going, I guess, behind its head. I don't know. That's not, like, a super strong move. I don't know. Okay, then I think it grabs you and, and does it. We can make opposing strength checks if you would like. Just do your thing. I'm gonna lose the ape anyway. Just do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I just uh You're not sorry. You're having such a good time right now. <laughs> uh 18. Uh 27 bludgeoning damage. So I'm Mako and I'm gonna take some falling damage. So tell me yeah. how much that's going to be. 66. <laughs> falling damage? You were on his head and I said he was 60 feet tall. Yeah. Okay. That's dead. Or down. Oh, uh, six down? No, 6d6. Oh, I thought you said oh, 66. I was like, that's it. <laughs> um, <laughs> you took, uh, originally, what did I say? Was it how much damage did I say? Uh, 27. Uh, 30, 37? Was it 36? Was it 30? I thought it was 34, maybe. 34? Okay. Um. So whatever, you, subtract that from the polar bear and then whatever less goes to Mako. And then Mako, you can roll your 66. Follow me. So you had 50, so minus, but it was minus 25. You have 25 left okay. before the falling damage. And then Mako, he's going to step on you. Ooh. Um. Yeah, he's going to take his other slam attack on you. Um. A dirty 20 will hit. Um, 37 damage. I don't know how much yeah. has happened. Yeah, I, I was, I subtracted for you. I think you're, you're down. You're, you're yeah. not right okay. dead or anything, you're just down. Everyone got real quiet, though. Yeah, I um, understand. And then he is going to move towards, actually, he's just going to move right here. Um, he's not within five feet of you, he just moves slightly to the side. Um. Daz, oh sorry, okay. Daz. All right, this is uh, Adam, right? Just to be sure. Right. Can I stand here? Um, yeah, the rock is like we can. Yeah, there's room next to the rock. We'll say yes. Okay. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run over here. I'm, I'm the going one to hit Adam, so it's probably like on his feet, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pick up the uh, fireball necklace, as I assume he still has that out, or dropped it when yeah, it. Yeah, he hands. Mm -hmm. And I'm when he take... dropped it, it went off. All of you. 
I'm going to take a beat off of it. I'm going to try to aim it high. He's 60 feet high, so if I hit him in his chest, it should Perfect. not hit in on the ground, correct? Yeah. You throw it in his head, it should hit him fine. Yeah, I'll try to throw it at his upper body. All right, so it's a deck save? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what um, He passed his deck save. Okay, so, so it's 8d6, but halved? Yep. Uh, let me roll that. Dash R. 8d6. So he still takes 15. Ooh. Yeah, this thing explodes in his face. He lets out like a, and then he goes boom and casts Harden on himself conceptually. <laughs> now at this point, if you have that image in your head, he does Harden on himself immediately, <laughs> not hitting him. Oh, these beads okay. are gonna. Do this. That's a uh, Dawson's turn. Okay. Uh, calm like rain. Uh, yeah. He's gonna go ahead and do. Is med what is medicine? Wisdom or intelligence? Wisdom. Wisdom. On uh, fathom. So fathom is stable. Stable, yeah. And then he is going to run back to right here. And that's call my Raiden's turn. Okay. Laurel. Laurel is. Huh. Since I'm standing right next to Daza, I'm going to take two of the um, fireball beads. You can only use. Um... No, that you and can use multiple. One is an action. The logic is you can throw the whole necklace if you want more to go. Is the only way to throw more than one in a turn. Really? Well, it's an action to throw an object. So, like, how would you throw both? Was my I thought. You just. I mean, it's like beads, right? You just like. Yeah, you the older man. Eh, okay. Oh, yeah. Not, not I, I mean, I guess. Yeah. I, I just only, wasn't. Sure. That, it only increases it, the spell damage by one d six, though. Oh, if you used to. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, yeah, you throw two of them? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, 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 I grabbed two of them. Gotcha. And I'm going to move. I should have you guys make some kind of check for ability to throw these. I'm just letting you play some wherever you want. That's on me. Yeah, I wasn't going to question it. No, that's fair. I wouldn't question it either. Expert fireball bead throwers. I mean, we are trying to hit like a ginormous mm -hmm. 60 foot statue with a bead. So, like, yeah. it, our target is no, pretty big. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Dazeth used one and Lorel took one. And there's two left. I'm going to move thing. right here. Now, me taking it, is that an action? Um, you can have it be a bonus action because we were okay. having throwing it be an action. So, all right, and I'm going to uh, cast Killing Ward through my liar at um, Fathom. Nice. Okay. Get him back in the game. And this is plus a 1d4. Okay, so yeah. There you go, buddy. Thank you. 25% of my health. That is my turn. Okay. Um, Fathom, you are back and um, prone. Uh, I'm going to gasp for air, be super afraid, look over, see Mako down and cast Healing Word at level 1. <laughs> He's make I love it. that. Pops Mom. up like, oh shit, and just brings <laughs> Mako back. Uh, four. Yeah. Ooh, that is not good. Six. <laughs> I rolled Mako, very you come back for six. Um, Thank you. And then, can I have anything else that I can fucking do? Or am I just useless? Yeah, I, f I, I feel you. Um,. I don't know. I'm gonna cast guidance on Inna. <laughs> I like it. 
Is that an extra D8 on an ability check? It's a D4 because it's a cantrip, but yes. Is it on attacks as well or just ability checks? Just ability checks. Oh, I like it. No, who knows? Um, anything else? Uh, nope. In a... So if I go to there, yeah. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go to right here, take two attacks at it. Okay. Um, just because I think that not twenties might hit. And there's always a chance. Yeah, both those hit. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to go over here. Cool. All right. Um, bonus action, I'm going to put my shield up. Okay. Okay. Um, cool. He is going to pick up a rock and throw it at Dazith. Ouch. And he threw a fireball at him. <laughs> um, 24. Yeah. And that is going to deal... If it's more than 19, I'm down. Uh, 60 total damage. <gasps> oh. 60 bludgeoning. That won't kill you outright, right? By single digits. Oh my oh. god. You know, whatever it, it whatever it takes as this rock comes slamming into to Dazif. Um and Dazif goes down. Um at that point he is going to turn and chase after Anna. He'll make it to right here. Anything for me? Oh. What? Does he hit me or your anything? Turn no. okay. he, threw a rock. he threw a rock at Dazith. Uh, Dazith, will you roll? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's Mako's turn. Her thing disappeared. Oh, it was because it was on the polar bear. You're right. Yeah. Um, but Dazith, that roll will will stay. Thank you for rolling that. Well, we, we can redo it. Uh, uh, Dazith. Uh, but we have, uh, oh, yeah, add the D6 to it. But in a, or It's okay. Mako's turn, sorry. Mako, you are prone currently. I got one more. Uh... I'm going to sit up. Um, I, so yeah, you'll add five to that then. All right, you're up. A point I can see. So I'm going to cast it on a point that, like on the back end of this thing. So Enna is not within five feet. Will that count? I, I don't know what you're casting. I'm going to cast Call Lightning. Oh, shit. Hey, yo. Level three, Call Lightning. Um, we, on the uh, back end of it, so Anna's not on like an immediate yeah. five feet. No, that works, and she's not touching or anything, so it's not like a lightning room. You're okay. good. Okay, so just it's a deck save. Um, he failed, but he's gonna choose to pass Ooh. it. I think you've done that three times. Um, this is his last one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That is his, this third. is his third. This is his third. I saved him early on. I didn't okay. use him. He took some damage early. Um, he will choose to pass it. Does he still take half? He does, right? Yeah. Okay. And then he is going to pardon. Um, that's it. Okay. Cool. Uh, Dazith did his turn. Um, calm like rain. <laughs> calm like rain is going to. That's funny. Uh, you know he was gonna save people, but then her, the healers decided to do their their thing. Uh, you see it. Well, uh, yeah, he's gonna trust that the healers will continue to do their thing and provide a little support here. And he'll go ahead and take two swings. Okay. At this thing. That advantage. That is bold of him. Not, to not technically, no. But it doesn't matter. 
You're not across, you're not directly across from. Oh, me. I see, I see, I see. Um, but those will both hit. Calm like rain is he is you know fueling his Ooh. anger about what happened to Fathom. <laughs> my boy um yeah and you're he's just like slicing at the back of his leg they're clinking off but you feel like you've hit him sweet that's it laurel oh. um you just saw a boulder wreck dazif in the face just just really get him good also has everyone been down at some point during this fight besides laurel you see it laurel got down once and that was enough for him uh calm like rain also hasn't been down yet Oh. We definitely wouldn't kill him out, right? Right? Stop! Don't you dare! No, we wouldn't. We wouldn't. He's <laughs> yeah. He had the green dot on him. You've done oh. it to the characters before. Oh. You killed Paro. Not enough damage to die out, right? But sorry, Lorel. No, no, you're fine. Because I really don't know what to do. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, sh- wait, hold on. <laughs> Chris, I love your responses to things. I, it's too high a CR for you. For okay. It's a four. Let me, let me yeah, see. Your, your limit is uh, divided by three, I think. Your, your level divided by three. So All right. Your limit's only two. So like he three. is going to dash right here. Okay. And that's what he's going to do. Respect. Fathom. No, no respect, but that's what he's gonna do. You know, you're behind a rock, it's not you, you won't be the first one to die today, right? <laughs> um, I'll reach, I'll reach down and whisper sweet nothings into uh dad's dad's this year, uh, to use my last level two spell slot. Uh, nice healing word. Uh, god, another horrible roll, eight healing. Oh. I Daz, if you're back with eight. Um God, I really I genuinely can't do anything. Okay. That's yeah. Oh, actually. You know what? I'm I'm gonna follow in the rail's footsteps for a second and see if I can't do something. You're about to go. No, I figured out something I can do and, and and it's gonna happen. Uh I don't die first. I think I can do that. Is that within range? What are you doing? Oh shit, JK. Uh, actually, I don't know about this ruling. I want to cast Fairy Fire on it, um, but I used Healing Word. However, the Fairy Fire I use is a racial trait. Would that still be counted as a spell? Yeah. Oh, well, is it a cantrip or is it a spell? It, it's technically a spell, but I don't get it from a spell it's, casting class. Yeah, I get it from like, a racial oh, yeah, it's, it's like you can't, you can cast it at will once per day without, no, I, you, I don't think I, mm, B? It's what? a drow thing. Drows can cast very fire at will once per day or twice per day or something like that. Is, is it a spell? It's not a cantrip. Uh, it's, it's a level one spell, but it's a racial mm-hmm. tree. Trait. Well, did you. Is it an action? Yeah. Oh, but it doesn't. Wait, it doesn't use a spell slot, though? No, it's, no. Yeah, you can cast it once per day oh. just from being a drow, but it's using a spell. It's just not a spell slot. If he has an action or bonus action or whatever he needs, uh, I think it's okay. Because it's just not using two spell slots. That's the only yeah. rule. All right, throw your fairy fire out there. Okay. Uh, I need a DC 14 deck save from him. It's the same thing, but mine is uh, 19. Damn. Okay, that's my turn. Okay. Anna. Um, Bro. I'm going to move right here. And then... Yeah, there you go. Uh, 24 and 22 both hit. Um, yeah, and you, same as usual, you get some solid hits on it, but they kind of bounce off ways. Yeah, and then I've got, I'm going to run to right there, and I'm going to say, come like rain, run! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's his turn. He's going to throw a stone at Inna. Yeah. Um, for those attacks. Um, does a nat one? Hit ever oh, in our game. Stop it. And it slams directly uh, in front of you in a like that. And it screams a little bit. And then he turns and l- just um stares down at Calm Like Rain. Uh, 
Oh. Palm like rain coolly looks back at him, but is uh also secretly terrified. Love it. Dazza. Uh Dazza will use half his movement to get up. He will uh look at Fathom weird for the sweet nothing he was whispering. He doesn't know what that was about. I his boyfriend's I... currently fighting a monster. That that's a weird time to cheat. And he's I gonna... want to point out Fathom saying sweet nothings is literally just nothing. I did not hear a thing. So. Oh, it's just nothing, nothing, nothing. But oh my God. Said, said okay, that's me. terrifying. <laughs> I love it. All right. Uh, I only have half of my movement right now, so yeah. I am going to move one, two, three squares. And uh, what would it take for me to throw up? I still have the fireball necklace, correct? He he just took a couple off of it. Yeah, oh. so um, two oh, have yeah. been used. Lorel has... Make. So four are, go- four are currently... Not available. We we skipped Mako again. Oh, sorry about that, Mako. Uh, Daz, if, this will be before you take an action or anything. Sorry about that, Mako. It it deleted the polar bear. Um, you can are I can cast reduce again. Yeah, was it make a con save? Yes. yes. Uh, twenty four. Yeah. yeah. His con is really high. His con and strength are super high because he's oh, a totally. no man, but. That's it. Okay. Uh, Daz, it's back to you. Um, how many fire... Um, sorry about that, Mako, but how many fireball necklaces were on, or beads were on the necklace originally? Seven. Seven? Six uh, is what the uh, handout said. So oh, there's no. two oh. on this. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, Daza. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, or you said you were going to ma- make us start doing... What what uh, me, no, I should have in the future you w- should have to roll something to try to hit it probably but this guy's pretty easy to hit like you said so throw he's, it he's a large boy um so dex save right dex save correct um seven oh so he will take the full eight d six slash r oh. um does it, uh to save you a second um could you explain to me how this kills the thing oh my God. no stop it. <laughs> Let's go. The There's no way. Roll the damage, though. Roll it. Pretty Man, good. Man's had nine left after Anna's last attacks. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. So, so, you would take um, his bead off, and he will just say, he's like, I'm Tamora's hero, and just chunk it, hoping it hits. Really hoping he doesn't hit anyone else. And then just t- like raises a fist to the crowd. Yeah, this thing explodes in his face, and he goes flying backwards multiple feet, and then just slams to the ground. The crowd stands up and loses their shit, and the voice in Thaumaturgy comes up and says, We have our hero of Tamora and our hero of Bashaba, and they're very helpful friends. And the crowd's just like... Um, and I'm just gonna call down. Um, it starts like a procession, like people bring out like horses, start like making circles around, they're throwing flowers at you guys. Um, like a kind of like chubby Leonin person walks up with a chest. And um, do, do you guys want your reward right now or would you rather wait till next session? Next session? Yeah. I'm kidding right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I want it right now. Cool. Um, he pushes out a chest, opens it up, and says, 10,000 gold. Um, and oh then, um, but more importantly, um, then he hands uh, two large, uh, is it, is it, bra- what do we call it, brazers? Brazers? Brazers. Brazers. Yeah. Um, he said, uh, he get, he goes over and hands one to Tamor, or to Dazeth, then goes over to, and hands one to um, uh, Fathom, and says, these should help any ship you might go on. The ladies have blessed them. Um, light yours. Um, Bashaba's hero, and um, it will provide disadvantage um, to any people trying to do you harm. Um, for for the fire burns about three minutes, and then he goes over to uh to um Dazif and hands his light yours, and it will provide your ship true shots advantage against anyone you're attacking for, and it burns about three minutes. Um, and then he leans in close and he says, "But do not ever light them at the same time." Um. Um, also, they can only be lit about once per day. 
Um, but more, and then he goes, and then another guy comes up, and um, they start unstrapping your armor, Daza, mm-hmm. and taking it off of you. And then they lay a new golden, like gilded armor that has like a symbol of Tamora, like a Tamora's face right here. Um, and it says, um, "May this armor bring you um, all the luck that her lady would uh, desires." And it's cursed. Uh, <laughs> and, and then someone comes and puts a cape over you, Fathom, and then raises the hood above it, um, and leans in close and goes, "Our lady kind of likes bats," and they're like, <laughs> up a little bit. "I love Fathom's it, Batman." Batman. So you guys got um, ten thousand gold pieces, the twin um, brazers, um, Daz. If you got that armor and fathom, you got a cloak that um, apparently has something to do with bats. Does it? Does it? Is it like serrated at the ends like a bat wing? Um, they would explain. I think both of these to you. These are rewards. They're not like sneaky. Um, look up the cloak of the bat, fathom, and then Daz. Yours. Um, what it does is plate plus one plate armor. Ooh, um. Cool. And it also provides you, when you roll a critical hit or a critical failure, um, the armor activates. If you roll a critical hit, you gain advantage on the next attack roll and deal an extra 1d8 damage on a hit. If the, you roll a critical failure, you have resistance to all damage until the end of their next turn. Wait, fun fact, our bronze titan, anytime someone dealt damage, it could use a reaction to be resistant to all type of damage till the end of its turn. So every time you guys hit it, it had no damage resistant, uh, but after the first hit, everything else was halved every time. Until yeah. Yeah. Okay, but it still damage. Yes. Okay, it was. Okay. It had an outrageous HP, like ridiculously. I started with 350. Oh my god. Um, and honestly, until you guys pulled out the fireball necklace, which was the right choice, Mako was really the only one hurting it. Mako, you that was awesome. The the, the <laughs> was wild. That was great. Now we have oh, yeah. that means we have three beads left. Correct. Right? Yeah. We also have explosive wine bottles though. Yeah, but those aren't fireballs. Oh my god, you can fly. Yeah. I can turn into a bat too. Um and with this, the um, people will uh, kind of come up to you and say, um, your time in Theros has come to an end, at least for now. Um, thank you. Where does your journey take you next? A hot bath. <laughs> um... You guys can think on it. Just send us a yeah. text at some yeah, point. Yeah, I do. Um, and with this, um, they lead you through a door. People are cheering. They're throwing flowers at you and everything. And they lead you through a door. And then all of a sudden, you're back in front of that well from the very beginning. But you're sitting there. Dazith has this fantastic new armor on. Um, uh, Fathom's running around, like, pretending to be a bat. And there's a chest of gold and two brazzers there next to you. And that's where we'll end it. Yeah, well done. Okay, real quick, can I get the all the description from that armor real quick? So I can yeah, uh, here, I can put it in the chat, and then you can just add it to a description somewhere so you know what it does. But it is yeah. a plus one plate armor first, so it should just add one to your AC. Yeah, I, I did that already, yeah. And then this is the other part of it. Right, thank you so much. Yeah, great job, you guys. Also, 10,000 gold pieces, so. Love it. Got cool shit. Um, do we want to add that stuff tonight? It's just the 10k gold, which can just be thrown into the bag, right? Yeah, I'll put the 10k gold in there. We have 27,730. Nice. You'll need that. We're back up to what we were before we bought upgrades for our ship. There you go. And I'll do it again. No, great job, you guys. That was a hard fight. That was a oh very God. hard fight. I'm um, worried. Brennan scared the shit out of me when he did that math, not counting uh, oh, his rage. Yeah. That genuinely like made my whole body so go there, cold. There were moments where like three of y'all were real near to dead. Uh, like yeah. in the uh, um, Dazif, Mako, all of you close to death at I, one point. I also only had one um, turn left in my rage. <laughs> yeah. in the and that was my last rage. Yeah. Yeah, I had one level two spell, 
and one level one spell, and that was it. Without one level one spell. Can we talk oh. about it when it rolled that nat 20 if it was anyone other than Anna? No, that's yeah. true. <laughs> no, um, yeah. if, if, if y'all hadn't had those fights before it, it would have definitely been much easier because you wouldn't have had those, like, true. level four spells to throw up. Like, a Mako used her level four spell, and it was insane, right? Like, that was, like, by far the, like, tide turner for y'all. Before that point, he was still at, like, 280 before she became an ape, and it was just not going down very quickly. Mm-hmm. It's just, even if I hit it really well, that still only does, like, 10 to 20 damage. You were dealing what should have been 39, and he was taking, um, was it, uh, 19. 17 every time? 18, I mean, yeah. But great job, you guys. That was a hard one. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Everybody say bye to the recording. If you guys can't, by, like, Sunday, have a general 